He sent another message asking her to come chill. <laughs> the victim, police said, didn't immediately call the police about the robbery. But after speaking with her boyfriend, decided to report the incident. Her bo- <laughs> Bro, <laughs> what? Bro, what? Bro, what? Bro, this means that this is the <laughs> wildest thing I've ever read in my life. We have so much to unpack here. I'm so glad you picked this Court one. records show the victim identified his voice as her assailant in a photo lineup and police arrested him last week. This week's episode. <laughs> leave that on there. Can you leave that on there? Leave it in. Leave it in. <laughs> Dang it, dude. <laughs> oh. That's like the equivalent of like, drivers, start your yeah. engines and you just stall. Yeah, it doesn't even go. He's like, oh, we got to put some gas in it. Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> we forgot. This week's episode of the podcast, ladies and gentlemen, brought to you by a new sponsor, hey. Mudwater, baby, is the coffee alternative with four adaptogenic mushrooms and how you say that word ayurvedic ayurvedic herbs ayurvedic ayurvedic maybe with only a fraction of the caffeine as a cup of coffee you get energy without the anxiety jitters or crash mud water leans on mushrooms in their blend of matcha yep yeah let's go baby and their blend of chai i know that one for sustained (laughs) energy each ingredient was added for a purpose lion's mane that's a mushroom for alertness. Uh, cordyceps. Yeah, baby. Cordyceps helps support physical performance. Changa <laughs> and Risha <laughs> to support your immune system. Turmeric. I know what that is. Come on. Go. That's yep. available in the airport for soreness. Cinnamon for antioxidants, baby. Mud water is 100% USDA, organic, non-GMO, GMO, gluten-free, vegan, and kosher certified, baby. Mud water. Believes the country, this country is in a mental health epidemic. We obviously talk about that every week on the pod. Yeah. Mentally ill people, and we make jokes about them. No, we don't. Come <laughs> on, John. We're all here. Uh, and sees mud water as a useful tool for individuals with depression, PTSD, anxiety, and other mental illnesses. Go to mudwtr.com slash net positive to support the show and use code net positive for 15% off. I got the mud water in my kitchen, baby. I like it. I hit it. Yeah. I'm off coffee, so this is a nice substitute. It's like a nice Are little you? chai tea. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing different. Yeah, it's yeah. good. As you have a gallon of Red Bull in front yeah. of you. Yeah. Actually, you saw that from somebody else. Yeah, somebody left this in the studio yeah. the other day, and so I'm uh, I'm going to sip on it. I will not drink the whole thing. Let's see. I get, I get, I get some mud water. Yeah. Ease myself up. Yeah. You I think what, you, what you're looking for in a morning, uh, what you're looking for in a morning liquid mm. is, I drank an orange juice before I came in here. Yeah. You're looking for... I don't want to. I don't. I want to get through this and be alert. So yep. I need something. Water. No disrespect. I need more. You need more from water. No, I need more than just water. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Water. Yeah. Race your water. Game. Step it up. <laughs> I need more. Yeah. <laughs> but you go that. Obviously, you're gonna be like, all right, that's not a good plan for the, my day. No. But you do would take a like the uh, those things that the like. Uh, it's interesting. They talk about turmeric. Yeah. Turmeric. Because there's the little turmeric shots in the airport. Right. Where you just go, hey. I'm getting a, some fast food. Let me just get a mm-hmm. just a, something inside me. Yep. I like this. Yeah, it's good. Mud water, baby. Net positive 50% off at mudwtr.com slash net positive. 15% off. 15. What, did I, what did I say? You, I think you said 15, but it sounded oh. like 50. So oh, I just yeah. want to be sure. Mud water, baby. Off. Welcome aboard, baby. Let's start the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Where do you want oh, to kick us off? Oh, I got it. Yeah. Well, first of all, welcome everybody to the show. Yep. Uh, new people coming aboard every week. Yep. Let me introduce myself. My name's John Chris, mm-hmm. Alex Lagos. Hi. One of the ones and twos. And Michaelis Andrew. Michaelis Andrew. Yeah. He's uh, he's on the side. If we get him to laugh, that's always a benefit, but it's not always a guarantee. <laughs> uh, we shout out a new country that we're charting in every week. This week, uh, the country of Namibia. Oh, gosh. Namibia? <sighs> Gonna, I'm going to say Africa. I would also say Africa. I'm going to say Africa. I'm guessing it's in like the Tanzania, Kenya region. Okay. Uh, Central Africa. Because not South, by like South Africa. I know it's down there. I think there are uh, giraffes Namibia. in Namibia. Yeah, I feel like I was going to, I'm thinking, I was going to think that, uh, um, that uh, what's it called? What's that? Uh, shoot. What's that uh, cartoon called? Where they're the... Animals are going on to the zoo, and then they get dropped off in the boat, and then they get lost. 
Madagascar. Madagascar. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. They, yeah. Oh, dude, good call. And the maybe a giraffe conservation guide. You they looked do. that up. Yeah. No, Where they. No, I think there's a. So there's they're like a really viral thing because you can go oh, and I think eat, uh, you can go like dine at this place. Oh yeah. And the giraffes come in the windows. Yeah. And you can feed them part of your meal. Dude, I guess. I wonder. Oh yeah. I think I've. I think I've heard of that. So yeah. Look up a map where Namibia is. Okay. I feel. Do you think those? Do you think the countries where they have all the safaris, mm -hmm. they like? Oh, was I wrong? Oh, it's on the coast. It looks like it's on the coast. Oh, it's on the coast. It's on the west coast. Oh, it's so right above oh, South dude, Africa. Uh, yeah, I was yeah, way wrong. South Africa. Welcome, at, welcome in everybody from Namibia. Have you ever seen those that that uh, African, that African girl that like, uh, she's like acts like like Africa is like a, a very very developed country. Continent. And then yes. yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, man. shoot. But yes, it is. Yeah, but yeah, but she's like, she's like, people are like, how do you get iPhones? Like on TikTok, she, we have a. I'm not gonna do the accent. That's but she like idea. goes yeah. up in a tree and yeah. like gets. This is where we get. Oh, the, like it's she like, picks them off. She's the making fun of like people. <laughs> she's making fun of Americans that don't think that like. How do you get food? And she's like, it's so funny. That's awesome. Yeah, I Olivia, welcome in. I was gonna say, do you think they get annoyed with like their their attraction is like the animals? Do you think they like? All right, enough of the giraffes everywhere. I I would, I would yeah, because you know, we guys. come over here, we're like, dude, it's like us, it's like us going to like, uh, like somebody coming here and going to Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. They're like, we don't go there. Yes, <laughs> yeah, well, it's like, like when people come to Nashville and they go to Broadway. Oh yeah, better. And I'm example. just like, yeah, 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 really? You're like, like I, I, we'll go. Yeah, well, like right. That's like we you were going in Namibia. Well, let me guess, the giraffes. Yeah, you're like, dude, we have a, like a <laughs> very bustling. Like the downtown's nice. Yeah. like we got a lot of cool restaurants. Music scenes yeah. popping. Like, like I can take you some really cool we're like, bars. Giraffes. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what. Yeah, but I wonder when. I wonder when their Independence Day is. Look it up because we right. just had ours. We did. We just had ours. Happy Fourth. Nam yeah, dude. We'll get into it. Now we have got some things to debate about. When's Namibia? Namibia Independence. It literally. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, wait, what? All right, March twenty first of next year. It says March twenty first, twenty twenty four. Okay, so yeah, that's coming up. No, they're not. That doesn't mean they're not free. <laughs> that means that's what it is. If you look up American Independence Day, it's gonna say July fourth, twenty twenty four. Yeah, get out of here, dude. It says twenty twenty three. Oh shoot. But also, not every country would have Independence Day. We have Independence Day because we became independent from... Yeah, every country has an Independence Day. It's like how every company has a we were established X year. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right? I don't know. Hold on, let me what think. What do you mean? Every country was started at some point. They had from, a start and they, date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they came yeah. from somewhere. Yeah. I don't know if that would be considered... Yeah, that's not an Independence I Day. I that there's a start date huh. of Namibia, but I don't know if they ever... This is like near. This is like bordering world. on like like a topic that like Nate Bargatze's podcast. <laughs> it's like what is uh, like what is America or something like that. Namibia was founded February 9th of nineteen ninety. Really? So they're babies. Nineteen ninety. They're new to the game. Everyone there is only like all right. So you, years wait. Old. All right. So what in <laughs> in 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 Andrew's defense? Yeah. Uh, it, it, United States. If there are Indians. On here. They didn't have an independence from wherever they just were got here. Is what you're saying? They didn't fight for Native their Americans freedom. Were always here. They were just <laughs> well, they always. Well, didn't come. They didn't establish. They were just. They, they didn't leave something to come. Yeah. That's what that. you're saying. Yes. Yeah. No, that makes sense. <clears throat> All right. Look that up. Does every country have an Independence Day? Because like I'm guessing the European countries do. Because they or did they? I don't know. Dang, dude, we don't know anything. Not, Not all countries. Hey, yeah, Andrew is right. Not all countries mark independence as a national holiday. Many, such as Australia, Canada, Denmark, New Zealand, Ireland, Luxembourg, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Taiwan, are mark other dates of significance. Nationalism. What countries do not have an independence day? What happened to our, how did we, we get the, the, the rockets red glare? Mm -hmm. Or was that, that was that day, right? I don't really even know how to answer that question. Well, the independent, <laughs> like, the, it's not, it's not Columbus landed. No. It's when we fought the Revolutionary War and won. Right. That was the that was the end of the Revolutionary War. Right. We won it. Rockets, red glare, bombs bursting in air. Mm -hmm. Gave truth in the night. Proof. Proof in the night. Proof through the night. Proof through the night. Flag, flag still there. Still yeah. I would. That's wrong. Should we lead in? Yeah. Yeah. I would. I would join. That makes me want to join. Yeah. So welcome oh, yeah. to Namibia. Welcome to Namibia. Shout out Fourth of July. Where were you at? 
I was at a no, I saw where you were at. I saw where you at. Where the the thousand people in the smallest pool ever. A lot of people in a in a not a lot of pool. Yeah, and that did you go underwater? I did not go underwater. (laughs) (laughs) I I did go in the water. You did go in the water. I did not go underwater. You did go under. It's like waist deep water. Yes, and that is standing. Yes. Yeah, I was in a. uh, I was in. Well, we went to Vegas. Went to Vegas. Well, we were in two lazy rivers. Okay. In Vegas, we were in the lazy river at the MGM. Yep. And then yesterday. We're in the lazy river in a, in a lazy ri- in a river. We flo- <laughs> a, a regular river? Yeah, we floated in a the real river. One. Nice. A, re- a real lazy river. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, and here. Nice. Down in like an hour away or something. That's a lazy July 4th. Yeah, and it was unbelievable. But we were we were talking in the the the, the lazy river in Las Vegas at the MGM. Yeah. Is so many like there was like I mean people were eating and floating and oh, like nice. there was lettuce floating by a Cheeto. <laughs> band-aids and there was like a film of yeah. of like a suntan lotion on the top yeah and i'm thinking to myself well this water is moving mm-hmm. which i don't think matters because yours is just stagnant mine's just sitting there but also there's no way yours is moving fast no it's not moving fast and it's not they're trying to clean it i guess sure as the day goes right but i was thinking to myself well what i wonder what actual like don't go underwater, right? Don't yeah. go underwater. What what actual diseases are in there? Because I think that's something that like looks like to a it looks like very like unhealthy. Mm-hmm. But I think your body has all that to fight all that. Yeah, I mean your body's also contributing to it. So like yeah, like that. Like if you like, I was like, all right, dead serious. If you go into like a city bus and like lick the railing, mm-hmm. like that's the most disgusting thing. Yeah, but what? What are you going to get? Right. You know, it's like, I don't know. Like, I looked it up and it was like E. coli and like whatever you get from like eating, uh, like what's eating raw chicken? That's E. coli, right? Uh, no, E. coli uh, is like lettuce and stuff, I believe. Like, yeah. Uh, salmonella, salmonella. salmonella chicken, and then yeah. like staph, like staph infection. Sure. Whatever that one. That, yeah, it was whatever. Like, if you, if you, like what, what. Which, and you could be like, this is super, super, super unhealthy, right? Yep. Don't go underwater. Yep. But then you go in and eat a chicken sandwich and fries or a burger. You're like, that might be way more unhealthy. It could be. Risk-wise. Yeah. I don't know. Yep. But it just looks like don't eat gum off the off the ground. Yeah. Obviously a kid. But you're like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Right. Is it? Like, how do they rank in terms yeah, of like it, what's yeah. most gross for yeah, yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. like, hey, everybody's peeing in that pool. For like, sure. Like, don't go underwater. But pee is sterile. Mm-hmm. Don't go underwater and drink it. You're like, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I lean <laughs> to, I mean, I was like, wouldn't drink it, but I lean on that side. I yeah. Go, I don't know. No, I don't I'm with think. You. I, like, for me, I mean, again, I was in the pool all day. All day. So I'm standing in there. I can see the film on the water developing yes, over time dude. as more and more people come in. Drinks yeah. are spilling. People it's are. It's less clear. Yeah. It's a little, a little murky. A <laughs> little foggy. It's not like as murky the day as goes like on. mud. It's no, like no. murky yeah. as in just humans. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, I don't know. I, uh, out of sight, out of mind type thing, I guess. Yeah. Just nobody, if you get, if you, I'm trying to think if there's like, a, would there be like an outbreak? How would something get around? I guess like that. I mean, I've had Giardia a few times in my oh, life. Oh, yeah, you and have. That's from, from, yeah, yeah. That's from that's like bad, fecal right? matter in that, water. Yeah. And so one of the times I got it was at a resort in the Dominican. Okay. And I it was either because they, the water the water that they bad. used to wash the cups or something, okay, or yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. I got water in yeah. my mouth by accident in the pool and it yeah. was in that. I don't know. And that's bad. Yeah, that is like a that's diarrhea bad. and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah it's brutal. Yeah, diarrhea yeah, for like Giardia. weeks on end. You lose mad weight. It's crazy. Great diet plan though. If you're Jeez. looking to lose yeah, weight, yeah, what's yeah. That, uh, what's that, uh, uh, what's that? What's uh, that? What's that prescription that all the it's advertised? Everywhere? Ozempic. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Ozempic's a weight loss drug. Yeah, I've heard it's very popular. Yeah, it kills your popular. appetite. Like you lose weight really fast. A bunch yeah. of celebrities are on it right now. It's yeah, crazy. it's I've heard it's being it was being advertised behind a baseball game. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I know that because I was following Tommy Lauren on Instagram. There you go. And she posted it. <laughs> yeah. That's where I'm getting my news. Great, nice, John. <laughs> Things like, it sounds like you're doing well. Um, tell me more about your fourth. Well, did you? Well, okay. So I went on the Lazy River. Yeah. The, uh, like an hour outside of town. Yep. By the way, we were at Brad Paisley last night. Yeah. Down on Broadway with like a million people. Yeah. There was these people, they leaned over next to me, a couple. They're like, who is this? I go, <laughs> what? I just look, I, but I couldn't. I go, she goes, who is the b- band? And I was like, 
I, I asked again. I go, what? So it was kind of loud, but I go, what? Yeah. And then I looked over at Lydia because that's like, I'm like, am I right. insane? Yeah. But, and I go, and I go, say it again. And she goes, who is the, but she wasn't, she was, it had an accent. She goes, and then she goes, oh, who is the band? And then she goes, oh, we're not from here. And yeah. I go, you don't know who this is? Like, I don't, I'm not like, uh, like, yeah, it was Brad, it was Brad Paisley. Yeah. And I go, so you're just here? Yeah. What? They're like, yeah, we're exchange students. One from Chicago, one's from New York. We came down for the weekend. Nice. Dude, <laughs> that's unreal. That's the Nashville bubble for you. You're like, dude, I go, yeah, uh, and I typed it on my phone and I showed it to her. Nice. And she took a photo of, your of my phone. <laughs> I was like, dude, what, what year is it? She's like, I like this guy. Yeah. I might check him out. Yeah, I go, He's got a real shot. If you, yeah, yeah. I think this guy's going places. Yeah. If you're going to celebrate Independence Day in America, I mean, truth, truthfully. Yeah. I to get a to get a, a a snapshot of what the United States of America is, I would say do not go to the coasts. No, do not go to New York or L.A. Would that be fair to say or no? Um, I haven't done Times Square or I mean, obviously L.A. has nothing. Dude, I LA haven't done Fourth of July at either location. I haven't either. I haven't so either. I'm not sure. But Los Angeles has nothing to offer anyone, even that pe the people that live there. That, Come I think on, that's that fair place to say. Yeah. trash. Yeah, uh, and then New York, maybe you'd say Broadway, but that, I would say. They have, uh, they have, uh, what's it called? New Year's. New York does. Yeah, they got. Yeah, New yeah, Year's. yeah, yeah. Fourth of July on like Cape Cod is beautiful. Oh yeah, that's really special up there. Oh yeah, we would do yeah. that growing up. That was cool. Oh yeah. Um, I met some guys in the pool who yeah. who had no regard for yeah. like what was in the pool. They nah. were like doing chicken fights and like falling uh, yeah, underwater yeah, yeah, and yeah, splashing. Yeah. People. Everybody yeah. hated it. Yeah, but they were from Ireland. Yeah. And he was like he was talking uh, to you while peeing. He yeah, was peeing. <laughs> peeing, like, on peeing on my right leg now? Yeah, while yeah. we were standing next to each other. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> but he was, uh, I was like, bro, you might have picked the most American Fourth of July oh, yeah. of all time right oh, now. I was yeah. like, you're in the pool, you're drinking, yeah. you're eating like barbecue stuff. You're on a rooftop. You're in Nashville yeah, you're on a roof. Yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of people here. You're yeah. going to see fireworks from here later. Yeah. I was like, you, you got you, it, man. You're you hearing country music. In the background, yeah, oh yeah, yeah you got it, man. You I was one. like, you did it. Don't ever even you do it the again. One. Yeah. yeah. Well, we were out in, we were out in. I mean, we drove an hour and a half out to wherever. Yeah. And got, and got in this. I mean, you know, floating on a river, mm -hmm. and ever it, 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 that was. I mean, there was a lot of there was a lot of Trump flags out there. Yeah. Yeah. And that and you don't want to go that far. I mean, I I don't want to make that statement, but that that's like, all right. We're out here. Yeah, we, we start waving flags that aren't American flags. Yeah, the, the, no matter yeah, what they a lot are, of, I think there's a lot kind of camping. A lot of yeah. There's a lot of yeah, yeah. We passed the lady that uh, yeah. She we, we were floating down. Everybody's saying hi to everybody. Everybody yeah. drinking. Everybody because you get in at one spot, you float down five miles to the get out spot. Yeah, and so that that is just I love doing that. By the way, it's, I've it was on the same course. It's great. It was unbelievable. Yeah, and that if I got I go hold on. I'm going to get out, go to the side and pee. They'd be like, you're insane. Yeah. Go in here. Right. Go in here. Mm -hmm. Pee now. Yeah. Now, and that's what Andrew is saying because he says he doesn't based on, I think, peeing in, pee in the ocean. Mm -hmm. So I think what it is is based on how big the water is. Mm -hmm. And how contained it is. Yeah. How diluted will it be? How dilute and how active is the water? Right. Because I think you pee that's, in hot, that's I think a, you, hot tubs are small, but it's active water, so you pee in it. Oh, I don't know, man. That's a tougher one. You say no on hot tubs. That's a small because there's of a lot water. of bubbling. I feel like that justifies it. If you take a bath, are you peeing in the bath? No. If I do, I'll shower after. Yeah, I'm not peeing in a bath. <laughs> I'm not peeing in a bath. I'm not peeing in a hot tub. I am if peeing in a no. pool. I am peeing in a river. I am peeing in an ocean. So I draw the line at pool. Pool, pool and up is yes for me. Okay, so hot tub, no. Pool, no. Mm -mm. No, pool, yes for me. Pool, yes. Yeah. Okay, what if you go uh, above ground? Because uh, yeah. you're nearing yeah. you're nearing hot Good tub question. territory. Good question, yes. Yeah, above ground. Yes, that's a yes still. Yeah. yeah. What about those inflatable pools in no. the backyard? No. Mm -mm. But, all right, but then- There's uh, no filter system on that yes. either. Yes, yeah, true. But then also you get into, you get into an age range. Because mm. if you're a kid, you're allowed to. Right. A, an adult can't. Mm -hmm. when, when's the age of accountability? <sighs> and if you're a kid at the Virgin, I think you're allowed. Yeah, there were no children yeah, at that party for sure. Yeah, of course, party. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Well, getting out of the lazy, getting out of the actual lazy river, I did that three times. Lazy river's big though. Yeah, that'd be a yes for me. You would pee in it. Yep. Well, that's all right, all right. Me. Well, I can't. That's I, huge. I mean, I that's a, like, especially at MGM. I'm sure it's a massive oh, it's river. Like, yeah, it's huge. Yeah. And like, well, I feel like the. I'll be honest with you. The only reason I got out is because I didn't want my girlfriend to be like, "You've been in here, and you've been drinking drinks all day. You were afraid yeah. of the judgment." Yes, mm -hmm. but that's if you were in that pool, you're like nobody's thinking. Alex hasn't gotten out. No yeah. one knows. If you're yeah, tracking yeah. my, no, yeah, yeah, you're not. My habits, yeah, yeah, I'm you're be not. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mind your own business. If you pee in a pool, yeah, I think you got to be a kid. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you can't poop in a pool. No, that's a no. Yeah, then everybody has to get out. Big no. Yeah, yeah everybody yeah. has to get out. Mm -hmm. That's the yeah. yeah Tough to hide it. that one. Yeah, but kids do it on accident. That's sure. how that happens. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So where's the age there? for pooping in the pool i mean <laughs> what's the cutoff what's the cutoff three yeah oh, i guess you'd have to in the lazy in the actual the real lazy river I, you'd have to get out because going in the you would go if you were camping you would go pee in the river you'd go down to the river and pee in there because you You'd pee into the river? Yeah, it's from outside of it. Why not just pee in the woods? Well, that's the difference because there's no formal place to to pee. Okay. So if there's like you like every mile out there, there's like a there's like a, a porta potty. Mm -hmm. That would make no sense out there. <laughs> no. Yeah, you have to. You just gotta yeah. go out there. You remember uh the Dimitri Martin joke where he was like, There's a big difference I found out one year between peeing in the pool and peeing into the pool. <laughs> That's, that's a, a big, great joke. That's a big difference. Big difference if you Dude, I have I have a pool. friend. I yeah. will not say who this is because that's it will embarrass great. them. <laughs> but I have a friend who, when at the beach, yeah, will not pee in the ocean. Okay. This person will get out of the water, like up to their in knees. The ocean. Mm -hmm. They'll get like up to their knees in the water. Yeah. They'll pee standing there, like on themselves, oh. and then get into the water. To, Wait, to rinse off. I feel, I've I I think I know why. Why? Do you know why? Nope. Okay. My older brothers told me about this like parasite that would swim up your urinary. Tract. I have heard about this. Yeah, and it was like I mean, but I, I think th it's in the Amazon. And I think they were trying to scare me because yeah. they were like, it has like all these like scales, like a uh, like a uh, porcupine, right? And it swims up, and yeah. then to get it out, it like. This is, well, I don't need to No, do this that. is real. This, uh, this, yeah. it's in the Amazon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, it's it, real. It, yeah, yeah. That it's going to like, that's terrifying. Yeah. But it's not in, it's not in 30A. Right. Yeah, if, <laughs> if it was, somebody would have had it. And if some white woman has it, it's on the news. Yeah. That's a fact. But if, I think that, that is not some a woman, most... a man would have it. But if a guy <laughs> had it yeah. in Florida, we would all know about it immediately. Yes. Immediately. Yeah. And no, yeah. nobody would be in the water. No, ever. Right. Right. <laughs> Dude, I was thinking. Wait, you're glossing over how psychotic this is. What? Peeing on yourself yeah, and then a, walking into the yeah, water? That, yeah, and then rinsing? Yes. Yeah, I don't know where you get that solution from. <laughs> Thank you. That's a solution that is too much. <laughs> I don't know where you go from that. No way, dude. Dude, what I was thinking is we, did, you know, like, we get, humans and humans and water need to just go t like take a time out yeah like we just j like all bodies of water you know like when you were little and they're like did you ever have adult swim um like kids out of the pool yeah yeah like yes. they blow the whistle every two yeah. hours because the, the lifeguard needs a break yep adult swim everybody out yep we need that i've seen too much submersibles killer whales people jumping off cruise ships like that we just need a hey like a couple we need a couple uh, two months everybody out yeah no going there are a lot of people drowning i've seen yep. in in florida rip currents like i feel like i feel like the ocean is like a disgruntled employee mm -hmm. that's been treated bad by us for a long time and they're like you know what i quit but instead of two weeks I'm going to just terrorize this place and burn it down on my way out. The ocean is quiet quitting right now. No, the, really? <laughs> the ocean has had enough. Have you seen those killer whales? Yes, dude. They're just like organ. And we talked about we this. We talked about it a couple They're weeks ago. They're just organized. Yeah. I mean, people jumping off. The, and I'll go. I went. To, I'll go. Like, we were even on the, the lazy river. And it was like, there is like some like trees in there. And the, the, the water's moving. Mm-hmm. 
And Lydia it, works in the news. She's like, unfortunately, tomorrow we will be reporting deaths. Yeah. From being out. Yeah. And it's like moving so slow. But if you get like, we had the rafts, we had the R2 rafts and then the cooler raft. If you get like trapped up against something and it just like flips, it's just, and when you swim, I was like, I'm going to get into the current and try to swim up to this log against the current. And I was just, yeah. just, and it, I was dying. Yeah. And I was like, it's right there. And I couldn't like it, it, water will like switch on you fast. Yeah. We, uh, fast. I think we forget that we are land creatures. Yeah. We are meant for land. That's like, that's like a, uh, uh, like, you know, in Texas, if someone comes on your property, you can shoot them. Yeah. Like they're like, well, you were on here. Mm -hmm. They're like, well, I'm just going to go knock on his door. What is that called? Like a uh, trespassing? No, what's that? The uh, no, no, not <laughs> manslaughter. Not don't ask, don't tell. That's a uh, oh, stand your ground. Yeah, stand your ground. Yeah, it's what it's a stand your ground state. <laughs> Definitely not. Don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's probably. Well, I've seen too many murder mysteries, but I'm saying yeah. that's like. Well, you, you he shot. You were on his property. Mm -hmm. That's the rule. You were on his property. You can't be on his property. If you go on a property, you assume the risks. Mm -hmm. That's the ocean. So the ocean's just kind of looking at you like, hey, palms up. We this is I our don't property. Know we live here. Yeah. What are you doing? We eat y'all. <laughs> yeah. <bro. laughs> Why are you coming out of here? Yeah. They do out. this every year. We do this every like, come year. Come on, guys. And y'all keep disrespecting me. <laughs> now nah, I'm in first person. Y'all yeah. keep disrespecting me. I've been showing up, trying to take care of y'all. Y'all been throwing trash in me. Y'all been trying to go all the way <laughs> to the bottom of me. <laughs> y'all keep trying to float. You get Now you're taking these things where you plug your feet in and you go up with the... Yeah. With the uh, what are y'all doing? Yep. Just let me live. Yeah. And, and, and I've been... I've been... <laughs> providing for y'all for since day what since noah bro yeah i've been letting y'all go to america fly you little fish i've been feeding y'all mm -hmm. i've been feeding y'all for y y as long as y'all been alive i've been feeding y'all <laughs> every country that doesn't outside of namibia relies <laughs> on fishing and i've been giving y'all sustenance and this is how y'all treat me yeah i wonder if like in the old times you know they people would like worship i wonder if anyone worshiped the ocean yeah isn't that who poseidon room? is is Isn't it? Poseidon the god of the ocean? Yeah. Come on, we weren't allowed to read that growing up. Fair enough. Yeah, fair Obviously. enough. My mistake. Blasphemy. Um, My bad. Anyways, happy fourth, dude. Happy fourth. <laughs> we were <laughs> on the flight out back. Of the ocean. We were on the flight back, and uh, do you ever have? I was talking to this guy. Like, all right, a lot of my meet and greets, a lot of my shows, uh, guys come in that guys tell jokes. Yep. They're like, I got a joke for you. And what what do you think the wife is doing at this point? Um, probably like shying away from yes, the conversation yes. altogether she goes don't like you're in a meet and greet line right you're 30 minutes yeah. or tw tw i don't know how long maybe that's the longest you would wait in sure. line you go don't hey, d -d -d don't i'm gonna d don't all right yeah and so i feel like that way i go i go hey and the wife's go i told you not to and i go hey let him you gotta let him live because i'm in the same situation where i go i'm gonna say stuff and my girlfriend is like please yeah don't yeah don't do this mm -hmm. and i we were in the airplane or we were in the airport or we were in the air. Maybe we were waiting for the flight and we we're talking to somebody who had an accent. And I go, can I guess where you're from? And Lydia goes, oh, no, <laughs> don't, don't. And I, and I'm thinking to myself, so I guess, so it was like, it was like European. Mm -hmm. And I go, I'm guessing like, you know, not, I'm not going to go like the, like, uh, Russia, Ukraine. It's not that she goes, correct. I go, it's, it looks like it's like somewhere like, I want to say like Czech or like, I used to have a buddy from, uh, Serbia and Croatia. It sounds similar to that. And it was, it was like that, that, that awkward get, but she, it was fun. Yeah. It was hilarious. She was dying. And I go, I think she ended up being from, uh, I want to say Romania mm -hmm. or something like that. Or maybe I get, I, oh, I pulled up the map. You were right there. Oh, yeah, I was right within the region. Yeah. And I go, we were talking about later. I go, why is that offensive? Mm. Because if you guess the wrong one, yeah, it's offensive to be offended at that. Because you're, because you you're saying be you're saying, better like, than I'm them. I'm definitely not that. Yeah, because you're even. saying I'm better than them. Yeah. My country is better than them, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. If you guess a, a quote, lesser like we were down in honduras and i go hey what is like if you live in 
Tennessee. I, I explained this to him in Spanish. I go, if you live in Tennessee and you date like a girl from, now this is a stereotype, not true. If you date a girl from Alabama, there are jokes to be made. Mm -hmm. And I would say even more if you're from like the Northeast, if you're you're like, oh, she's from Alabama. Oh, she dates her sister. She has one tooth. Her family tree goes in a circle, right? It's not true, but it that's the, like what, I go, you live in Honduras. What's, what country do you guys, that exists everywhere. What did they say? He said Guatemala. Interesting. Yeah. And I, I'm sure Guatemala thinks yeah. Yes, yeah. dude. Everybody thinks it's a healthy it, rivalry. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They don't think they they think, oh, really? You're dating a girl from Guatemala. It's like we do that here. Yeah. Everybody does that. For sure. And if you're saying, let me guess your accent, are you if somebody from another would I was like, I'm from the United States, let me guess where you're from. And I was be talking, they're like, you sound like you're from Kentucky. And I go, Oh wow, it's offensive. Mm -hmm. That that that's offensive. Yes, that you think you're better than them. Yeah, because I was well, I was going on this. I go, why is it? Why can I not do that? No, I think that should be a game show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, think, yeah. I think that's great. Not one celebrity only, signs up. No. Who's one to come on the first week? <laughs> Nobody. Because yeah. it's just if you if you guess wrong, yeah, you're just uneducated on accents. Like that's yeah. the only that's the state. You, yeah, and that's you're not it, trying to. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> yeah, that's literally all. Yeah. And. We were with uh, Kellen Erskine, who was a comic that was out with us this weekend. He made a good point. He goes, when you, when you learn a language, you try to speak like them. Oh, for sure. You do the accent. Yeah. Well, I was like, hola, me llamo S1. Mm -hmm. They're like, don't go, hola, me llamo S1. Say, do it in Spanish. Yes. Talk like they talk. Yes. Yeah, it did. Yeah. I minored, now, I minored in Spanish. That was something that they always told us. No, speak, no, do the accent. The accent is what it is. Yeah, and the accent part in of the Spain language. is different than Mexico. Yeah. So do it like you say, like uh, Barcelona. Yeah. That's what they say there. Mm -hmm. the, in, in Spain, they wouldn't say that. Oh, maybe they might say that in Mexico. How do you say Barcelona in Mexico? Well, it, would Spanish? Be, it should be universal because that's it's a proper name. So it, it should be Barcelona. From there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from Mexico. It from should there. be that yeah, technically yeah, when yeah, we yeah, say yeah, it in yeah, English yeah, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that it's the sense. same thing. Yeah. 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 Which you, you should it should be it should be like when it should be in a lot of ways. I mean, I know I know I don't know what to say. I would know an African. I would know an African accent. Mm -hmm. Now, once you get to North Africa, you start to get to the Middle East, because Egypt, Morocco mm -hmm. is North Africa. I wouldn't put that in the africa then i get i know most of the european i know you're from europe mm -hmm. i don't know man those, i know those lines get blurred but you too. obviously know like england london yeah you know that course, one yes. and then it gets loose and then you know russian mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and then you know yeah the like the slavic languages like like eastern southern europe mm -hmm. and then you start to get over into middle eastern and then you go the the Asian countries. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to differentiate any of that. No, I just I, no, don't not have in between. No, I would have no idea. Like what would be the difference between Korean and Chinese? Yeah, I could never. No, pick I would have that no out. idea. Yeah. I don't know anything. But again, there's like there's those. I know there's those same rivalries over there. Yeah, they're like, oh, you think I'm th that that one's better. Mm -hmm. This one's better. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. What's the most notable accent in the world? Oh, I mean, it's not. Do we? Have, I would say we don't have one. But obviously, if if I was something like that, you're from America. Yeah. Notable. I was gonna say Russian or Irish. Oh, Russian. I would go, uh, uh, Kazakhstan because Borat. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, 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 yeah. He did a lot for those and, people. Yeah, and yeah. that's probably not their accent. Right, either. right, right. <laughs> We just chose yeah. them. So yeah, speaking oh, of yeah. offensive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> like, that one. On, yeah. Are you from Kazakhstan? He's yeah. like, dude, no, we don't even talk like that. Yeah. <laughs> he just picked one. Yeah. He's like, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody doing that accent is the worst. Yeah. Yeah, that's out of that's a uh this week's episode, ladies and gentlemen, brought to you by Good Ranchers. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. Big July 4th energy from this company. Yeah, dude. Big July 4th. Good ran good ranchers. I got listen, my 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 freezer is packed. My loaded. freezer is packed, bro. I got bacon in there. 
I got Wagyu beef. I got ground beef. I don't I think it's Wagyu ground beef, but these burger patties, I got bacon, I got chicken, I got everything. And it's unbelievable beef. It's unbelievable beef. Good ranchers dot com uh thirty dollars off use the code net positive you can have amazing deals available for the next 16 days they're doing a uh, july 4th sale is that correct yeah so they're doing uh they have a fourth of july sale good ranchers oh, has yeah. independence daily deals yeah so it's like a play on independence day oh I uh, so you. that means on top of the uh thirty dollars off if you use code net positive you're also going to have amazing deals available Ooh. Uh, for weeks after July 4th. So if you're hearing this now, there's still time. When you go to GoodRanchers.com today, you're going to get an awesome deal on the best quality beef, chicken, and pork. And all of it is raised right here in America. Right here, raised in America. Right. Actually, uh, I they gave me this copy directly. They didn't send it to you. Mm -hmm. But they said, <laughs> they said, Toby Keith comes out and pets every cow. Nice. Yeah, pets every single one. Hand pet hand, Toby he, Keith. Yeah, pet Toby Keith cow. hand pets every cow. Very cool. GoodRanchers.com. That's they didn't send you that directly. That's very yeah, I don't yeah. have that here, but yeah, I mean I, I will take your word yeah. for it for sure. <laughs> GoodRanchers.com. <laughs> take advantage of these amazing deals. Uh use the code net positive, baby, and get an additional thirty dollars off your order at GoodRanchers.com. And net positive is that code. American meat delivered. Deliver. It's unbelievable meat. Fantastic. It's unbelievable meat. And they told me, uh, whenever you run out. They they gave me a number of a girl to text. Nice. I got the meat plug. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Just like if I need, yeah, I got I get they a hey, call a hey, call this girl. Yeah, she's gonna send meat? you over. They got my address already. They just send you a box. She and it's on dry ice. Do you have to meet her like in a back alley? Yeah. Well, not anymore. It's legal now. Oh, cool. Yeah. But this legalize if, it. Yeah. Not these. Uh, <laughs> not the Toby Keith meat. That one's like yeah. yeah she want to pulls a trench coat. She don't want to leave that on your front. You don't want to leave that on your mm -hmm. front yard. She, she's like, what yeah, you what you got? I got Dude, all I that got, Toby I Keith. got Made in America. I all got, that TKB. Yeah. My old man said, oh, man. Let's get to the news, baby. Oh. No, we got some things before we get to the news still. Yeah, your girl's conservative. Yeah. You know our friend? We switched her name, I think. Did we? Because yes. I know her real name. Obviously, she's a friend of mine. We did switch her name. Yeah, we switched her name. What was it? Do you remember, Andrew? Gosh. This is like episode two. Your girl's conservative. Who what was her name? I know a real name in real life, but I don't want to give it away. Oh, anyway, dang, dude. Uh, the update. You want to hear the update? I, yeah, I, this is just on the list because you put it on the list. Oh, you don't even I know, don't what, know what this is. Yeah. Oh, you don't even know what it is? No. Uh, I'm, I'm also searching right now to see if I can find what her name was. Oh, uh, what was it? Oh, uh, was it? Uh, I think this was from. I don't even. I don't even look like that anymore, dude. From the scale of one to ten episode, oh, yeah. I think. Which what? which was May twenty sixth, twenty twenty two. Gosh, it's so long ago. All right, I have an update. Molly, Molly, yes, <laughs> yes, it was Molly. Nice, we knew dude. that, Molly. Nice, yeah, nice, Molly. Nice. Yeah. All right, All right an cool. update. All right, what's up with Molly? Molly texted me. Okay, I haven't heard from Molly in a long time. All right, what's uh, up, Molly? tell the podcast listeners. Your girl's engaged. No way! But not, not to him. Oh. Not to him. Okay. Your girl's engaged and not, she said, and not to that dumb guy. <laughs> just still throwing shade. Yeah, so we, yeah, just st still throwing shade a year later. Yeah. Yeah, but she, we, I think what she's saying is we helped her. Let's go. We gave her a lot of advice. Congrats, Steered Mom. Steered her in the right direction. She met a good man. She's engaged. See what happens when you listen to this show. See what Good happens. When happen you, hey, you. you know what happens? Net positive things mm. happen. That girl is engaged. Yeah, and I take I take credit. You should. I take a little bit of credit for that's that. That's huge. Oh yeah. Congrats, Molly. Congratulations, wow. Molly. That's incredible. Out here on these streets, we do have, we have a, a lot of news. We have a protester of the week. Okay. That. And before and we got to preface this. We got to leave some time at the end because there's unbelievable emails. Yeah. About people were emailing about uh. The ridiculous punishments they had as kids. I need those. So, all right, we're gonna we, we'll do a little bit short on the news. Cut, and then we'll get into those. All right, cool. Here we so go. So, this is a uh, protest of the week. Oh yeah, uh, Andrew, if you could give me some <laughs> oh, <yes>. volume. <laughs> That's my favorite. All right. So we're spraying orange paint. This looks like a downtown area. Yeah, we're spraying a orange paint all over the front windows. That's a big building. A huge building. Are right, they spraying paint? Efficient coverage. And then students against who cares? No one cares. No <laughs> one knows. It doesn't matter. Literally, it does not matter. It and is a climate guy change. Just <laughs> a guy. 
Oh, the purple hair girl's back. Of course she's back. Come on, don't fit the stereotypes. And then somebody with a megaphone sits down. Guy is actively, currently pressure washing the paint <laughs> off. At, it, 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 as it's going up, it's coming down. <laughs> and he's in a suit, by the way. Uh -huh. He's in a suit. And he no, he's not in a suit. He's in a he's he's going into the office to work. Yeah, he's in, he's in a button down with like khakis and just taking the spray paint just off. Spray paint the people, please. <laughs> spray paint the people. Gosh, it's so good. Thoughts, just so good. <laughs> this one checks all the boxes. This and is one of those where it has all the criteria. It has all the criteria. All the things that it we've has seen all the before. things we see in everyone. Yeah, you do some. And by the way, I don't even know if I should say this because. I don't want to incite any kind of violence, but if you're going to vand vandalize it, mm. put your name on it. Mm. That's like saying, if you're going to trash on me on the internet, put your name on it. And they're like, well, like, just say it, say what you want to say. They don't like a lot of times they, they, uh, when people are say, like, say like threatening things to me, they'll like use abbreviations mm. or like change the word as if they're going to like, if there's going to be some like legal action, they'd be like, but I didn't say, mm. you know, that when, instead of saying porn, people said corn. Yeah. Or like the, everybody knows, but they don't want to get flagged by the whatever. Yeah. So that's like just if you, that's like a bunch of orange paint, but was not paint. Like they put in their hands on the Mona Lisa, but it's like on the casing. Mm -hmm. It's like, dude, I don't even want to say this, but if you're going to like do it. Yeah. My, do it. my favorite part of this is how, because if this was to dry, yeah, it would be oh, maybe. problematic. Oh, I get it. Yeah, the fact yeah, yeah. that this guy has so efficiently just been like, oh, I've been waiting for this day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah. pulled out this pressure washer. Now I'm looking at it like, I need the swipe up code for this pressure washer. Oh, it's a nice, thing oh, yeah, 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 it's like nice pressure this washer. Is like, yeah, he's, this he's should be a commercial. Thing? There's no problem. That should be a commercial and they should donate any business that wants a price. Like this is, I'm guessing, uh, why does he have the pressure washer? He Right. He, he, this is a common place. He's prepared. He's clearly. prepared. That's like say that's like the uh, you know like in L.A. which the uh, exit signs and they have the barbed wire around them. Yeah, it's like because people are gonna Vandalize. spray paint them. Right. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. this guy, but he's he's an accountant. Right. He's not a spray painter. No. No. He's not a he's not a pressure washer. No. He is in at that. He's at a desk. Mm -hmm. He goes, "What they're gonna do? What? Okay." And he goes out, ying, and he's fired up. <laughs> I hope they, he owns the building. They haven't even sat down yet. I hope he's a billionaire. Gosh. And he literally owns the entire building. And, and I, he was like, I'm sorry, they're doing Yeah. Yeah, okay. I can make traffic. Give me give me 10 minutes. He goes, there. well, we he got showed a, up with this and just went, ah. We got a uh, staff meeting at a, at 1130. He yeah. goes, it's 1115. He's like, ah. I, I got, got time. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can get this. And it's gone. It's also, gone. Great self-restraint on him for not spraying the protesters. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, would have yeah, been yeah. really tempting. Hey, you know why he didn't do that? You know why he didn't do that? Why, John? Because he's rich. Yeah. He's rich. <laughs> he has something to lose. He's rich, dude. Yeah. It, I mean, yeah. he has consequences for his actions. These unemployed people do not. This, uh, the painting, the paint spraying, I think was equally as impressive. Yeah. It just didn't have time to dry. They didn't think this through. Yeah, they Because they're, they're getting a lot of coverage here. Yeah. But he's right behind them just yeah. taking it down as they go. <laughs> also, if you see, if you really cared, if you really cared, st like restrain, restrain the guy. Right. It gets Hold into this guy weird back. space because it's like you don't you don't want to physically you don't want to get physical with but anybody. How is that? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like you basically Gosh, just now have this the, war of hoses. In jail. You're just yeah. pouring. <laughs> you're just, it's yeah. clear. It's water seen that, versus uh, orange, and it's just like. <laughs> have you ever seen those two? That I don't want to call. They were like two guys. Like they were like guys that were fighting. They were flicking each other off. Yes. Uh, he's like, like no one's want to punch each other because right. if you punch someone, you go to jail. Right. You go to jail. Yeah. Cops call. You go to jail. They're like, they're like, like just grab the thing. But it's a, like, <laughs> that's so silly, dude. It's so embarrassing for them. Nobody. And like, I love that all the, uh, all the, um, any video it never shows the full like what they're what they're trying to promote didn't capture the because no one cares no because no one cares and and the only reason students against eacop i believe this is i'm not gonna say it because i'm sick of giving them free yeah, publicity yeah. but this is one of the climate activist groups that of we've course they are. talked about hey before. also hack an orange paint we've seen it before <laughs> do something cool get out of you know what they should need to do 
get out a uh uh what's one of those what's one of those things what uh, oh, jackhammer uh, yeah get a jackhammer and go on the sidewalk <laughs> do something did it like all yeah. right good Switch to see you yeah good to see you yeah this is hack yeah this is this, this is the same same jokes for 20 years do yes. something else this it's it's <laughs> yeah we've seen this and also don't like like the uh um the girl with in the leather jacket with the purple hair mm -hmm. right all right, that that is my. I want to get to another point of this in a second, but that is my my like uh probably dude. It's I th probably I think one this girl, is, dude. I think this is the same girl who from did what? the which painting was that? Who cares? She did. Dude, oh, she didn't know the soup can. Yeah, the soup can one. Oh, yes, I think this is the same, same girl who did the soup. If can. it's not the same girl, it's the same girl. Right, 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 I right, mean, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's the same girl dude it's the same girl dude i but no we like uh, uh i really think it is the same person man that's crazy but they're all right uh, <laughs> it to to keep everyone honest yeah on the other side yeah that we were like uh we were down uh we were watching ben rector ben rector was before brad paisley yep right and then did the lady know who that was uh yeah he, oh no probably uh <laughs> Oh, the other lady. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah, my yeah. lady. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's why we were there. Uh, the the uh, she probably wasn't there. We we're at a different spot. Yeah. So Ben Rector's playing, and then the, there was a uh, lightning in the area, or mm -hmm. clouds, or storms, or whatever. I don't know what. So they came on, and they stopped the show, and they go, "Hey, we have to notify you that there is weather in the area, but because this is, I think she said something like, but because this is the United States of America, and this is freedom." You have the choice, and everybody went nuts. <laughs> All right, and then and then everybody went nuts, Dude, and then what? and then the uh, the 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 the. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble listening to the rest of the story. Yeah, yeah, everybody. That's like, insane. That's Dude. insane. And then everybody <laughs> like, started cheering the the Joe Biden the uh, Let's Go Brandon like yeah 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 yeah. yeah and yeah. I go, guys, <laughs> like, I'm on this side. If there was a side, mm -hmm. don't. Like, knock it off. This is dangerous now. No, and knock <laughs> off the chanting. Yeah, because we're not. And like, there was a guy that said like, there's a like a Joe Biden anti Joe Biden like, like cut off t shirt. I'm like, I'm with like the mullets and like the goofy like guys wearing jean shorts. But like, come on. Yeah. And I feel like most reasonable people are like, but like this this is that sides that. Okay. The, the purple hair girl. Sure. Is like hey. We are with you with the environment. We don't want it to, but don't, knock it off. Yeah, knock it off. Yeah, because you're you're too on the nose, and you go, oh, these people again, extreme. And that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying it's to extreme say. Extreme on both yeah. ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it now. Go, guys, guys, that's too much. Yeah. What are you doing? No, guys, there is lightning. Yeah. We should seek shelter, and, 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 and we're free yeah. to. And also, <laughs> I'm on your team. Like yeah, it's sure. not. They're not haters. No. They're they're the weather is not anti freedom right no. now. Guys. He's like you can do it every weather. Like, yeah, and then it's six people die. No, I'm just kidding, <laughs> not really. But Wait. I mean, if people did die, by the way, the concert would probably be liable. No. Yes, and and I said Ben Rector was out. Uh, he was playing, and he was playing like. Um, and it's a great day to be alive. You know the cover of that. That's Travis so good. Trish you should song? stop because we're gonna get claimed. That was. That was it. That's all I could say. Yeah, yeah. Nope. No. Nope. Anyway, so and then he goes, he goes, he got in his ear. We have to stop. Like immediately, we have to stop. Yep. Right. Yep. So he goes, we have to stop right now. And I and, and and I and then he's like, and I'm gonna sing the chorus and leave. So he goes, it's a great. And then everybody sang it. Sang it. Yep. And I was like, dude, if you were like a real rock star, you could be like, I'm not going out here. And then they drag me out. And then you could just be out there, no instruments, and just like you would have. But then, if someone got struck by lightning, you're done. Yes, it's over. Yeah. 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 So you want to like, you're like, I got to do this. That would have been the perfect time to like, yeah. And then you're like, oh, yeah, also, no. Yeah, no, don't do that. Yeah. 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 We're going to die out here. Yeah, don't man. do that. Don't do that. Yeah. yeah. Now, the people that like, I feel like we could be honest. We could be honest enough if we did see a, uh, like, no, you don't have to be honest. I've seen, I have seen. Protest. I'm not anti-protest. Right. Because 
I've seen a lot of protests be very effective. Of course. Uh, like the- uh, uh, This country. The, yes, this entire country. Yeah. The uh, uh, silent sit-ins mm -hmm. at the uh, in, with racism. And yep. they were like, hey, we're just going to- We don't believe white people and black people should sit at different restaurants. We're just going to go sit in there. Yep. Until they, you have to physically remove us. Mm -hmm. We're not going to make us, we're not going to yell. We're not going to, and a lot of the, the, a lot of the marches just be, have been silent and orderly. And, and the, the politicians and people in charge have just seen how, how many people it's like, uh, email your Senator. Now, I don't know if that's particularly effective call, right? Call, call. It's the same like call and request the song on the radio. If they're like, dude, we're getting so many requests for this whatever we gotta right. play it yeah like there's there there have uh we talked about this before tenement square mm -hmm. where the girl goes i'm prepared i i'm it's unfortunate that it came to this i'm prepared to lose my life mm -hmm. in front of this tank i will yep and then that we still i don't even know i truth be told don't even know what that was about <laughs> <laughs> have we have we thought about how we would protest for climate change if we were to have well, we thought about this already have we I can't remember if we've tried to do this. Uh, I don't know. But don't put aerosol purple in your hair because aerosol goes to the. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't take a private jet. I don't know. Yeah. If I was going to protest the environment, I I wouldn't. Pro I would like to say I wouldn't protest with the destruction of property. Mm hmm. I agree. Or that, or obviously hurting a human. Yeah. But with the things that have been effective are showing Boston Tea Party worked. They threw all that tea into the Boston Harbor. They threw it in. That's a great. That's a great example of a product, mm -hmm. right? Yep, big it was time. Very expensive, big time. Yeah, had just, it it probably just shipped over. And what were they trying to do? Uh, As it a was, man for the was taxation. Yeah, it was taxation. Okay. There was no taxation. I'm sorry. There was taxation without representation. representation. So they didn't have oh, yeah. the ability one to one by land, two if by sea. Yeah, right. No, that's no, different. Yeah, that's all I know. <laughs> Same yeah. time period. Give me yes. liberty or give me death. Right. Same type thing. New Hampshire. Yeah, when they came over on the live yeah. free or die. Yeah, when uh, uh, Robert, I was gonna say Robert E. Lee came over on that boat, but Thomas Jefferson came over on the boat, the Potomac. You know that photo? That one's new to me. Really? I don't think that was him. All right. Well, uh, yeah, no, it was Thomas Jefferson coming over on the boat. Okay. Yeah. Not Robert E. Lee. That they all came over on boats. Yeah. So, I mean, oh, yeah, they all, everybody came there over. There was no other way. Uh, I want to show you the, uh, speak, this is the same line of thinking. Yeah. The, um, the, um, I did the uh, video about, uh, Home Depot. Yes. Yeah. Funny, dude. Hilarious. Yeah. All right. Home Depot is a Portland Home Depot employee. Yep. Okay. And it was like, obviously, it went, Huge. Went crazy. Went huge. And it was a very, I was like, listen, if you're going to protest, use this kind of sledgehammer. Uh, if you're going to, um, uh, if you want to make a sign, if you want to spray paint, that's an aisle six for vandalism. Like all, Portland is a city that is, I've been there myself, is is crime over overrun with crime. Mm -hmm. No cop, right? A lot of, that was, that's in essence the joke. Yeah. I don't need to explain the like, I got and now you, Home Depot is your supplier for all things all protesting. things protesting. Yeah. All right, okay. All right. So it's usually like a couple of days of like it's on straight up, mm -hmm. and that's all. It's every time I get any criticism on my videos, it's after day three, because day one, <laughs> it's day one, it's coming up, right? Yep. They went day two, it's going everywhere. Yep. Day three, it's gotten into some people's hands that aren't in my circle yes not even my circle the circle of the circle right so th it's gotten in enough it's that third level it's gotten into the other it's gotten into the enemy territory yeah Be because of it the virality of it yes it's gone viral yeah okay and this is why i go against the tradition all right i'm gonna just read you some of these okay somebody responds Inciting violence, disrespecting the flag, belongs behind bars. Mm. Me. Right, you, yeah. For sure. I go, wait. No, I'm on your team. <laughs> I'm, we're the same. Yeah. We're, no, I'm acting. You're not, what? How much of the video do you think that person watched? Yeah, or like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, they watched three seconds of it. I have mixed feelings about this video. This MOOC, I don't know what that is, probably a derogatory term in some... It's you place. apparently, yeah. 
This MOOC wants to play the middle of the road as to explaining Home Depot products. So bottom line, you are selling an ideological narrative. As soon as your reaction to the American flag, you lost all credibility. Weak expletive. Mm. Um, disgusting. Guess we better suck it up and boycott Home Depot too. Definitely don't want to, but I'm willing to make the sacrifice. This crap needs to stop. I think I'll go locally owned shop before <laughs> and buy some stuff for self-defense. Boycott Home Depot because their employees hate America and are pushing an agenda of crime and destruction. <laughs> After he picked up the flag and rolled his eyes and tossed it down, someone should have thrown his spineless weak ass on a plane <laughs> to Iraq. Upon arrival back in the States, he'd own the biggest U.S. flag possible. Hey, you know how you were saying like you want the you want the protesters to like get more innovative with yeah. like, their strategy? Yeah. That's a very thoughtful comment. I mean <laughs> that one they went for it on bro, that one, dude. <laughs> what? Bro, what? Bro. What? They were like, "Hey, I, I." They just wrote a script for where you should go, like how want, this should play out for you. Yeah, what do you got? A mook? Is that what a mook is? Yeah, a, a mook. A mook is. A, I just person. want to make sure it wasn't a slur. Okay, or something, yeah, good point. Yeah. yeah. Good. Oh, I, I go. I go. Th th these are people. <laughs> these are people that are the similar to the protesting are so deep in their ideology that they can't see outside of their like. Yeah. Dude. Outside, I'm like, guys. No, I'm on your team. Yeah, you can't even see the irony here. We, it's a joke. So I, so in the in the video, I in essence they're selling American flags at Home Depot. I pick it up and go, Ugh, and mm -hmm. I put it down. No, one of the funniest, most understated Wait, parts of. Hold the video. on, and I don't even want to explain it to them because no. they, you're already lost. You're no. so you're so into like the I'm gonna cancel Bud Light and Target. That wow, what's next? That 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 you. Yeah, I go. Oh, you're just like uh, on online. Mm -hmm. You're online too much. Put did the you, phone um, speaking of protesting and you mentioned Bud Light, did you see Travis Kelsey did a Bud Light collab? Did he? He did. Really? Yeah. And it, the whole video is basically just him and a bunch of other guys yeah. like sequentially sitting down in a chair with a Bud Light and all yeah. of them just going, ah, relaxing. That's the ad. It's like the universal sound for, for relaxation Bud Light? for Bud Light. Really? Yeah. So Trav's going to resurrect that brand now. Travis Kelsey. How interesting. Just putting it on his shoulders. That's it. Just like the Chiefs in the playoffs. Right. Putting them on his shoulders. Follow goes, me, boys. He goes, I got it. Mm -hmm. And that and I lit I I respect that. I do too. I, here's why I respect it. Here's why I respect it. Because it is at some cost to him, potentially. For sure. Potentially. He could get but but he he's, uh, he believes and that's what this that's what this country is. Do you want to see? Well, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's see, let's see how his comment section looks on yeah, it. Yeah, it's probably. Uh, While yeah. we're here, it's probably uh, turned off. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. Here it is. They're all just going. Ah. Oh, and he's just in it. Mm -hmm. What are the comments? Isn't that nice? Yeah. All the comments are like. <laughs> <laughs> the beer savior. Yeah. Mood all summer. Yeah. The amount of people who had an issue with this are getting responsive by Bud Light. It's hilarious. Imagine being upset over beer. All right. Still won't. Here's one. Still won't buy Bud Light. No thanks. <laughs> Fine, well, uh, but also, you're, that's okay. Yeah. Hey, right, you're right, right, right. That's yeah. okay. But he also, yeah. People defending him. Some people still boycotting. Yeah, it's pretty mixed. Yeah. But that's what you're allowed to do that. Mm -hmm. You're allowed to do that. Yeah. And, and, you're putting something, you put something like, uh, they were like, hey, I'm the, like, I'm going to play golf this afternoon. Mm -hmm. You're like, dude, I bet I could beat you. Put something on it. Yeah, let's do it then. Put something on it. Mm -hmm. Put something on it. And that, and that, that's the, that's the protester yeah. putting nothing on it. Right. Putting nothing on it. Like you're, but you're like, hey, make sure like, like, hey, you're going to have to go to prison until you're responsible for uh, cleaning these windows. Yeah. Uh, 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 put something on it. Put something on it. It's the uh, the the parents uh, the parents on it. with the umpiring thing. Yeah. Oh, you want to yeah, talk? Oh, you want to yeah, talk to the umps? Yeah. You want to yell at the umps? Yeah. Okay. And you know who has you know has something to lose? Travis Kelsey. Yeah. Travis Kelsey. I was gonna fight a guy last night on Broadway, but I go. I... <laughs> <laughs> They're pushing your buttons. Nah, this guy was just hammered. Can't do can't do Broadway after dark. He was hammered, it's a different beast. dude. And Lydia was trying to make a. Uh, a she always has like she's trying to make a uh she's getting some video in case of uh 
she wanted to do a story on the news today. Nice. And she was trying to film something. And a guy came on and slapped the phone out of her hand. What? Yeah. Hammer. Yeah, that's that's probably First, worth altercations. I don't know. I mean, but you restrained yourself. Yeah, I go, well, he's just, he doesn't like if there if somebody's drinking, mm -hmm. there's no hey. There, that, that doesn't exist. You can't reason with No, them. so it's not no. like you're like fighting. And, and I go, also, I, I, I'm i going to punch somebody. I'm going to punch somebody down here right. in front of all these people. Yeah. I'm going to be wrestling with a uh, – it's not a good look. No. It's dude. not a good look for me. <laughs> John Chris, now, back I, in the now, news again. Now, I'll do, I'll <laughs> do it. Yeah. I will do it. Yeah. Yeah. I would just say it's – it's it, the more you have to lose, yeah. the more you got to – calculate yeah. that that was the irish guys in the pools in the pool yesterday yeah. they were splashing everybody everyone yeah. hated them at yeah. what point they sm they splashed all the people we were with yeah so i turned around and kind of like walked up like yo and he was like lad i just i don't want to go home and have them yeah, mad yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> he was, <laughs> you're like, i was like dude what are you talking about he goes the last thing i want is to say the lads didn't give us a chance yeah. <laughs> and i was like oh dude <laughs> Instantly, I'm in love with you. You're fine. I go, do I it like, more. We're, we're good. I'm yeah. joining. I was like, no, yeah. I'm on your side. Here, yeah. get on my shoulders. Whatever yeah. that accent was is not the offensive one. No. That's a cool one. Yeah. You're allowed to do that one. Poor attempt at Irish, but there it is. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. That was a drunk but Irish. If you do Asian, or you do, you're like, you're out. I'm out. I can't. Yeah, you're I can't out. Do it. That's cool. Yeah. That's so, it's a double standard, dude. dude. That's freaking hilarious. Shouts out those guys, though, man. Yeah. They had fun. No, I, what did he say? He don't want to, he don't want to go home. He basically was like, he was basically so like, the good. girl, we're going to go home. We're going to tell our friends, like, yeah. yeah, all the girls there were so hot and everybody yeah. was awesome, but like the guys didn't give us a chance because yeah. like they didn't really oh, yeah. vibe with basically You're how like, we were getting ah, down. And I was like, dude. I mean, you're splashing everybody, yeah. but like, eh. go for it. Okay. Yeah. But were they drunk? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Trash. He was like, they we're said, lovers. Yeah. I was like, okay, we're not fighters. I was like, okay, dude. <laughs> What is this Braveheart too? Yeah, dude? Yeah. Or Freedom! Like, yeah, you join in the chicken fight? Yeah. Yeah, good for them. Yeah. Oh, third sponsor, baby. Mm -hmm. A-G-1. One. Oh, yeah. I had it this morning. I had it yesterday morning. I needed it today. Well, I was going on a marathon of a day. Yeah. I knew I was going on a marathon of a day. Yeah. We were getting up, driving an hour, float trip. Yeah. In the sun. Good to start your day there then. That's awesome. Yeah. With the AG1. Yeah. Coming all the way back, rallying, mm. going to Broadway for two concerts. Yep. And the fireworks. That's a ton. That's a, and I go, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm a, I'm gonna gas up an AG1 up top. Do you feel oh, that yeah. when you start your day with it, you avoid like that crash mid-afternoon? Yeah. That's been the biggest notable yeah. noticeable difference for you me. You got another two hours before yours. Before my with the Red Bull. Well, I had AG1 this morning. Oh, hard than you. Yeah, you're so I think I'm out. covered still. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You good start. This yeah. is more just because I like to sip something. But yeah, the, I got. We get home. Like we got home for two hours. Uh, no, we were probably four hours floating. An hour drive back. Yeah. I took a shower. I was like, let's go. Mm -hmm. Good ready to, go. to go. Yeah, ready to go. None of that is in the copy, by the no. way. It's a foundational nutrition supplement that delivers comprehensive nutrients for a whole body health. AG1 replaces your multivitamin, probiotic, and more. In one drinkable habit, baby. Yeah, you just get the you have the little bottle, mm -hmm. comes in the bottle, and a bunch of like little pouches. Pour one in, put it on water, game over. That's I got right my bottle there. right here. There it is. Oh yeah, dude. Da -da -da. Just one daily serving gives uh I got the comprehensive foundational nutrition I need supports energy, focus, strength, clarity, 75 high quality vitamins, probiotics, and whole food sourced ingredients. I can't think of another Daily routine that pays off as well. I just said that. Yeah. yeah, which is why I trust the product so much. Why take a bunch of different stuff? Get yourself some AG1, baby. If you're looking for a simpler, effective investment for your health, try AG1 and get five free AG1 travel packs plus a free one-year supply of vitamin D with your first purchase. Go to drinkag one slash net positive. That's drinkag1.com slash net positive check it out dude i just soloed that one you crushed that Top dude. To bottom, hey, dude. hey man yeah, dude, hey dude. dude nice dude Solo let's admins, go man baby. let's go did you listen to that um speaking of did you listen to that uh uh joe rogan with rfk no crazy dude. i got probably like 15 minutes in yeah it's a tough voice that voice is tough to, listen, tough to listen to man to. yeah it's tough to listen to he's and also it. so smart yeah and like that's such a high level yeah. conversation i was in the car I was okay, in the car with a on a three hour yeah. ride. So Got I it. could kind of, yeah. I could, if I get could. a road trip in my future, yeah. I'll throw you it You should listen to it. It seems now, cool. Now our podcast gets removed. Yeah. yeah. For saying, and did you see about Theo? I saw his Roseanne episode got removed. taken down. Yeah. 
and which then is, Elon let him put up put it up on Twitter. Yeah, cool man. Which is crazy. Dude. Wild times. Which is what we don't have to get too much into it, but like that's when we sat at ML Rose. That's why we started this podcast. Because mm. I go and you go. I go. We go. What if? What if it gets deplatformed and demonetized and canceled? Like, we'll start another one. Because mm-hmm. we, we, I think we have important, valuable. Th- I mean, a lot of times we're just telling jokes and being yeah. dumb. But we got things That's important. That, too. But you say he would say the same about Theo. Mm-hmm. He doesn't. He should get to say what. Yeah. If it's if it's non credible, a lot of what in essence RFK people are a lot of people are saying it's, uh, not true because he's speaking out against the vaccines and stuff. Mm. Yeah. RFK is JFK is what nephew. He's running for president. Uh, yeah, I don't know the relation. How is it? Yeah, is it? It's a it's a Kennedy, right? Yes. Or it's RFK Jr. Maybe I don't know what he is. Relation I think it's his uncle. JFK. Yeah, JFK was his uncle, right? Mm, well, the tough thing here too is nephew. there's going to be multiple Roberts in that. No, family. he's a nephew. Oh yeah, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is a nephew of John F. Kennedy. There you go, Senator Ted Kennedy. So Ted Kennedy's John F. Kennedy's brother. Anyone that's like lived in this era is like, dude, are you guys serious? Yeah. 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 Click on the RFK, click on that Wikipedia photo. That's him. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's his nephew. Okay. Yeah. Basically saying stuff like, all right, so uh, like a lot of people, you know, like a lot of people have uh I feel like a lot of comics, like back when I was a kid guy, right? Yeah. yeah. Like back when I was a kid, we didn't have peanut allergies. Right. Or we didn't have, uh, nobody was gluten free. Right. Or nobody, well, uh, okay. Well, they are now. Mm-hmm. They're not lying. I mean, some people are right. exaggerating <laughs> it because that's their personality. Sure. But a peanut allergy didn't exist mm. and does now. Yeah. Because people have died from that. Yeah. And on the other hand, like people were dying of polio. Yeah. And they don't now. And, so, and basically, what he's saying is there's a lot of people with like uh, all these autoimmune disease like alopecia and things that like your body what's it called with your skin gets uh um Eczema? like very dry like all these things that no one used to have and now they have mm. he's like because of something that's in your body mm-hmm. that you're getting from somewhere whether it's in the food you eat or they were talking about mercury from fish and yeah. if you, like something is that is in your body that people have things now that they didn't have yeah so where's it coming from yeah and they were like it could be from the Wi-Fi radiation. It could, but there's there's things inside of people, and everybody's trying to figure out what it is and how it got in there. Yeah, and he's they're like, but I thought it was really important because the 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 switch in thought of like, and I've even probably had jokes about it in my show about these kids with gluten allergies, and we're like, I mean, it, there's there are some people that get annoying about it, mm-hmm. but the, it's, it's an inflammatory. Disease, you're like, well, we ha- oh, it's here now. Yeah, and you're like, we we solved. You don't have hepatitis C because you took a vaccine, but we don't. There's a lot of you don't. That's basically what he's saying. You don't know what's in your body. Yeah, and there's a lot of things going on in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Great. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a that's an entire like study in itself. Yeah, and you don't sure. know if you like looking at that screen, right? Could do something to, or drinking like out of a plastic or like out of a, or like. These ca- like there's a million things, mm-hmm. radio waves that are going around the city. There's pollution. There's tr- there's. Is that his main like thing? Yeah. It's just like there's a lot. Well, he that we started be from vaccines, to. Gotcha. but it, there's it's everything. Okay, and you have your body is not functioning properly. I can get on board with that. Yes, I mean You're, there's no doubt. Like we're we're also focused on profit over yeah, like the better yeah. health of our people as you a whole. Lose, so like there's yeah. also that. There's a bit yeah. And you can't, there's what's going into your body, not just what you're eating, mm-hmm. what you're breathing, what you're surrounding. He's like, turn off. He's like, but he gets a little, uh, conspiracy, like tinfoil hat guy. Right. It, but that's what people say. He's like, Hey, like there's so much radiation in the Wi Fi. Mm-hmm. And I go, well, that's everywhere. Yeah. I mean, and your phone's in your pocket at all times. So like, what's that? Do? But even if you were, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's like a lot to, yeah. A lot of information. Well, you could never isolate any of no, it either. No. It'd be impossible. Well, you tried to, and I think that's what like eight nuts. It's not a commercial for you one, but like I just thought about it while mm. it was like, hey, these things that are going in your body that are like like good for you, yeah. Versus you don't. 
I mean, you're like, whatever's in like Diet Coke or whatever. It's like aspartame. We're like, oh, that's terrible for you. It's like a control what you can control thing. Yeah. Like you, like you, you don't want to go AG1 nuts and, and you move know out you're into the woods. Stuff yeah, in, yeah, so yeah, you're good. yeah, yeah. You don't know the chicken you bought today, or even or like it was by like a by farms. like a snack a snack cake at a gas station. Yeah. You're like. Well, to throw more praise to the other sponsor too, like yeah. Good oh, Ranchers, Mud Water too, and Good Mud Ranchers, Water, Mud all Water, three. Like, oh, dude, all three, like all of those sponsors, coincidentally, yeah. are all ones where it's like, okay, now you, this is a source you can trust where these products yeah. are coming from and what they are for your yeah. body, and and this is good. Like you were like, every, all right, I think everybody's like, water is good, right? But uh, like, but in case it you can make the argument to, there too, yeah, it's, it's filtered and treated and depends blah, on what's blah, in blah, it. Like, yeah. yeah, Lydia said Lydia's been filtering the water that she uses to shower. And that's, she said, it's been helping her like hair grow. Interesting. Because you're like, well, what's in that water? Yeah. What's in the soap you put on your skin? What's yep. in the, fa- everything. I used to, when I grew up, I used to look at like adults who were like into all the organic stuff oh, and chill. blah, blah, blah. And I used yeah, to be like, yeah. come on, man, like this granola garbage. Like, are we becoming so them dumb. slowly? I'm becoming them. I think for I might be short. Too. Like, we swapped out our soaps. We've like changed. Like, I try to stay away from plastic bottles. All that type of stuff. Oh, yeah. We're switching up. Yeah. And then I go, and but you yeah, know, I love a good conspiracy Control what you too. can control, I think, is the good one. Yeah. Like, hey, dude, we're not going to go. I'm not going to go, like, grow tomatoes. Mm-hmm. But a tomato is better than a Snickers. We got peppers in my backyard right now. Yeah. Oh, dude, you're already. Yeah, you're in deep, bro. I'm in. Yeah. Let's get to one piece of news. You pick it. Let's get to, uh, yeah, let's get to one piece of news, and then we'll get to those emails. Okay. Do, do, <laughs> do the one up top. Okay. Uh, did you read this? No, I still haven't read this. I just have <laughs> okay. seen the headline. I just read. All right. <laughs> you, you want to re- do it? You read it. You want to do it? All yeah. Right. Quote, come chill. End quote. Man robs Indiana woman at gunpoint, then asks her out on Facebook. <laughs> this guy. A 21st century love story from, <laughs> from Warner Brothers Studios. A woman in Indiana <laughs> who police said is robbed at gunpoint outside of her home said she was later asked on a date by the, att- <laughs> by the attacker. Bold strategy, Cotton. Bold. <laughs> Police said the armed robbery suspect also told the woman he would pay her back. <laughs> Chivalry's not dead. According to the Indianapolis Police Department, the victim was getting mail outside of her home during the early morning hours of May 8th when she saw a stranger later identified as Damien Boyce walking up to her home. A probable cause affidavit obtained by USA Today says Boyce asked the woman if she lived there. When the victim responded yes and asked the man if he needed help, he pulled a gun weird response all right he, <laughs> hey, do you need help pull the gun okay <laughs> boyce then told the victim he was going to break into her home court paper said she told him she had nothing inside but that she had money in her car the victim then gave boyce about a hundred dollars in cash boyce then <laughs> asked the victim if she had a boyfriend and asked her to connect with him on social media scroll down that <laughs> That's wait. This is wild. Wow, wait, hold on. How's the article wilder than the headline? Know, this is nuts. Switch this up. <laughs> While pointing the firearm at the victim, the male asked her to add him as a friend on Facebook. I feel like I've been uh, people have done not that, not pulled a gun, but pretty. Mu- hey, it might as well be a gun. Type point in sometimes. my. Type in my. Yeah, yeah. No, really, that's hilarious. <laughs> I'm a point so you could add him to f- friend on Facebook so he could pay the victim back for the money he stole. Kindness. The male then gave the victim the name of Damien Boyce. Boyce pointed to his Facebook profile, asked the victim to add him as a friend, police said, and she complied. Yeah, because he has a gun in her face. Yeah. I thought that maybe if I add him on Facebook, he wouldn't leave, and he did. He would leave. He would even did. Boyce then fled the scene on bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep scrolling down. All right. Bro, you was too, you, okay. <laughs> the quote, you was too pretty to rob. Not even correct grammar. Unreal. According to the court papers, Boyce accepted the friend request invite and sent messages to the woman. You was too pretty to rob. <laughs> she also told the outlet, she responded, I believe you, man. I can tell you're sweet. Times just get tough. I know that. Obviously, she was trying to get out of it. After she said, he sent another message asking her to come chill. <laughs> the victim, police said, didn't immediately call the police about the robbery. But after speaking with her boyfriend, decided to report the incident. Her bo- <laughs> Bro, <laughs> what? Bro, what? Bro, what? Bro, this means that this <laughs> is the wildest thing I've ever read in my life. We have so much to unpack here. I'm so glad you picked this Court one. Court records show the victim identified his voice as her assailant in a photo lineup and police arrested him last week. So you go first. Okay. First of all, 
you get robbed. Once the gun is out, you're being robbed. For I'm sure. I'm being robbed, okay? Yeah. I don't care if it's a not loaded, fake gun. I'm in the neighborhood. It's it, Once you do this, yeah. it's where this is ending in a cr- cr- crime. Yeah. This is a crime. This right. is a crime. Yeah. And I could see someone being like, then she becomes nice because that's what you do when there's a gun in your face. Right. Yeah. She becomes chill, like, uh, I, I'm not going to, like, uh, I have money in my car I let, can give you. Let me go grab it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what you would do. You got a gun in your face. So you give him the gun, and then he's like, hey. Well, and then she's like, I don't know, what are they chatting out there? <laughs> I mean, in terms of like. Because you can't, all right, <laughs> it's tricky because she's not like, okay, can I go now? Right. Or you don't run away. In, in, You're there. In You're terms there of like for the convo. things to be asked yeah. with a gun in your face. Yeah. This is probably the easiest ask. Like, hey, just f- friend me on Facebook real quick. No, yeah, uh, do you have any money? Yeah. I'm not going to like, no problem. I'm Give not me gonna, 100 bucks. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm not no going to come take your TV. Yeah. I'm not going to come into your bedroom, see if there's jewelry under the mattress. Yeah. Hey, do you, have a, do you have any money? He took her word for it, too. She was like, there's nothing in the house. And he, goes, and he was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> What, what about the car? She was like, this is like what about is there the in there? car? That, what about the car? Take the yeah. car. <laughs> Can I have the whole car? Yeah. Give me the car. <laughs> Let me go here. He's I, on a bicycle. <laughs> bro, it was right there, Damien. You had it, bro. Damien, <laughs> we had it? you, bro. We, got, we set this up for you. And it's early in the night. It's early in the morning. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that drugs have been involved and he hasn't gone to bed. Yeah, probably. Cr- criminals aren't are they're not morning people. No, he didn't just finish a cold plunge and no. then come out here and for get this. some AG one. Sorry, AG <laughs> one. <Yeah. laughs> cold plunge, AG one. Yeah. Stock neighbors at yeah. their mailboxes no, and rob them at gunpoint. No, with a gun on a bike. Yeah, no. Anyone on a morning bike ride is a criminal. Anybody on the bi- in a bike in the morning is a criminal. With a gun on. With them. a gun is a criminal. Anyone not no not on one of those Lance Armstrong bikes. Right. If you're on a bike, that's you're, a performance bike. You're a criminal. If you're riding around on a Huffy as an adult, <laughs> you are a criminal. With the high handlebars. Go to jail. Take them. Just take them. Hey, take them. Isn't it funny that a guy on a horse with a gun yeah. is like a macho, like, oh, I respect the guy figure. for a guy on a But horse. a guy on a bike with Gone. a gun is totally not. And that's not newer that. technology. Yeah, right. That makes no sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he robs her. Right. He probably's like, wait, this girl's kind of smoke. Right. I'm guessing. The sun was probably rising, and so he was getting more and more light whoa, on the situation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He was like, uh, yeah. yeah and she's out in the now. morning getting makeup in a robe. No, right. in a robe, not in makeup. No makeup. He's like, wait, I bet. I He's bet. like, you woke up like this? Yeah. <laughs> you look great, girl. <laughs> that's, Dang. That's the title of the pod. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? Okay, yeah. Then, yeah. okay. Then, friend me on Facebook. You, you can get her to do stuff because you have a gun. Yeah. That's how crimes work. Right. Have gun. Get other person to do stuff you want them to do they wouldn't normally do. That's right. crimes. What's up? Step crimes. one, have fun. Gun. Yeah. Okay. Step one, have gun. Step two, make them do stuff. And so she has her phone. Yeah. So she, I guess she pulls it out. Right. And looks. I guess she's like, how do you spell it? D A. Yeah. Is it M? Is it, oh I said E O. I said I O N. Oh, it's I E N. Yeah. Okay. So this is you. So this crime. You're. This is you. You're this person. Identified yourself. You are at this. the scene of the crime. Yeah. You're this. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> And he goes, friend me. So then he goes, so he goes, oh, okay. And she said she accepted the friend request and said, according, oh, he accepted you was too pretty to rob. Yeah, he messaged her after the fact and said you was too pretty now, to rob. Now you could go, I'm not even going to, you know what, I'm not going to do a ratio because you could go either way with that. You could go, well, you was too pretty to rob could be, you go a couple different angles with who this person was. I think this person just we're gonna leave it. That's we're gonna leave it. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This person is a criminal. Yeah, yeah. This person has a gun and a bike. So that's what we're gonna. That's what we know for sure. All right. The so robber, believe you, and then she goes. I believe that's like. All right. What's the worst you've ever been asked to follow? What do you mean? Somebody on Instagram. Have you ever been asked to follow somebody? Oh, in person. In person. Yeah. Emotionally, I've been. I've been emotionally held at gunpoint. You right, pretty close for sure. Pretty close. It might as well be at gunpoint. You go, hey, what? And I go, if somebody says, "What's your Instagram?" and hands me their phone, mm-hmm. I will. Okay, I'll search m- me. Yep, and then I'll go. There's a list of Ja, and I go, this one's me. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I'll click on that, and I won't 
click follow, I go, here's this. Same. I'm that. Yep. I'm him. That's about, because you go, because a lot of it is like, oh, but I'm a, that, my, that is my business. Mm -hmm. That is my. For sure. Yeah. Same with you. It's like a very social, this is, oh, I do this. This is this. This is this. It's where most of our clients come from. Yeah. yeah and you should. Yeah. But they go, hey, what's your like, somebody wants to tag a photo. What's your Instagram? I was like, it's John B. Chris. And then they go, okay. And then they go, let me, let me, let me give you mine. Have you ever had that? Yeah. Let me give you my, and I go, okay. So they, I go to Instagram and I open Instagram and the search, right? Yep. Have you done this? Yeah. And you put, and they go, they type it in. I go, huh? And you're right there. I follow. Yep. And then I unfollow later that night Yeah. or later that day. Yeah. Immediately. You can't do that. No. That's it's a It's a social faux pas. Like, now, just don't do that type thing. We've talked about this a ton. On oh, we have, we have the, kids, sure. the kids at the airport. Yes. Are they kids you follow back? Yes. I go, I'm right here. Yeah, dude, I'm right here. Can you follow me on Instagram? We've, I've been asked that. Now, I haven't been asked that on Facebook. Why I've never been, go to your, hey, let me look you up online. And I pull up my Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, dude. My LinkedIn Yo, you was too pretty to rob. And I think that uh, I think that it's funny how the boyfriend comes into play. At the That's end of this. a great. I know. I saw your eyes light up. But yeah, yeah. Because to me, the way this is written, yeah, it looks like the boyfriend didn't intervene and tell her you need to call the cops. I don't think. Yeah. Until the guy said, "Come chill." Not the gun. Uh the Dude. guy with the gun said, <laughs> That's a come great. chill. Whoa. Nah, and nah, he nah, goes, nah. oh, you got to report it. You got to report it. I was cool with the hundred bucks. Oh, you, I was cool with you being robbed. Yeah, that was fine. Point. Yeah, that was is fine. Is this chivalrous or the worst? No, this is, <laughs> this is the worst. This is the worst. Dude, is the worst. You're the worst boyfriend. I didn't even yeah. think of that. He Dude, wasn't threatened. He wasn't threatened by the situation. By, I mean, I held up by the guy said, gun. Yeah, you want to come over? He said, nah, nah. You want to kick it? <laughs> Yo, and he was like, yeah, yeah, I think you should probably say something, dude. Yo, uh, what kind of confidence do you got to have as a boyfriend that's threatened to lose your girlfriend <laughs> with the guy that just robbed you on a bike? <laughs> if somebody was like, if Lydia was like, hey, I'm going to go, uh, I met this, I'm trying to think, I met this DJ at the bar last night. I'm going to go to lunch with him. She would never do that. But I go, yeah, cool. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go have uh, yeah. I met this guy at the Soho house that was talking about a, a mushroom trip he was on, and I'm gonna go. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Let me know when you're back. She would never do that. I'm yeah. trying to think of what. They, uh, yeah, would never do that. Yeah. I go. All right. I'm not that that you that would be dumb. Yeah. You'd be dumb. My buddy, my buddy Tyler. He goes. I goes. Do you ever worry about your wife like cheating on you? He goes. No, that would be dumb. Yeah. She'd regret that. I'm the man. <laughs> not, not like <laughs> Andrew. Not like not. I'm the man, but like, yeah. Why would you? That would be a mistake. Yeah, that would be a mistake. Right. Carry yourself with some confidence. Mm -hmm. That's freaking hilarious. I didn't even see that until you pointed it yeah, out. Yeah, because he was out cool with the robbing. He was fine with it. He was like, <laughs> look, sounds like we kind of got out unscathed. You got a new Facebook friend. Good for you. Which is great. Getting yeah. those numbers up, and then also yeah. we're down a hundred bucks, but like we got to keep the car. Also, I didn't I come think, in the house. I think we're he good. was cool with the messaging. Yeah, he was fine. <laughs> he was fine with it. <laughs> he was like, he's like, hey, I believe you. I can tell you're sweet. Just had a rough time. Yeah. Thanks for not killing me. Yeah. Uh, everything's good. <laughs> hey, give me the hundred back when you can. Yeah. Like, no stress. You know how to reach me now. Yeah. We're I friends. Put it in the mailbox. Yeah. I, you got yeah, me. Yeah, you know where the mailbox is because that's then, where you found me. Yeah. <laughs> and held me at gunpoint. And then so. he hits her with the come chill. Yeah. And then the guy goes, we got to press charge. Wait, what did he say? Wait, what, wait, what was what the I, last message? Give me that. Give me the phone. Give me that. He said, it's in quotes. Come chill. Come chill. Where? Where? Where, dude? On yeah. your bike? Yeah. Where? I'll, I'll pick you up. You can ride where? on the pegs. Not in this neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. You can ride on the pegs. It's wild, dude. That's great. <laughs> yeah, we got to talk to this boyfriend. That's tough. That's unreal, dude. That's, That's too pretty tough. to rob. And also, I, I do feel like there is, I shout out to my old uh, assistant. Mm -hmm. I'll name her my name. Her name is Eleanor. Mm -hmm. One of the best in the game. Nice. She works around here in town. She's into management. She's uh, She uh, left working with us and has gone through the roof. Awesome. She's crushing it. Good for there was a domestic situation with a, a stalker slash fan mm -hmm. at, at my house. Domestic okay. meaning there was a fan. Remember that guy that said he would like show up to Taylor Swift's house? Like you yeah. can't do that. Yeah, you can't do that. Right. It's a fan at my house. It's a front tour. Bad. Can't do that. Yeah, bad. Uh, and I was like, hey, like making a scene. And I go, I didn't want to make it a bigger deal. Mm -hmm. I just wanted her to go away. 
and I just I was on the ring doorbell and I was just watching and I and I was just and I was like, I wish you just got like I don't want to like. And she goes, call the cops. Yeah. Now. Yeah. And I go, what? I just did like a like. She goes, how would you feel if this was me? Mm -hmm. And I go, oh yeah, you call the cops immediately. Right. It does sometimes take a, a person that's like, you just tell the story and they're like, wait, what? Yes. And you're like, oh. Oh yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, this weird thing happens. You get wrapped up in it. Cause yeah, when it's you're you, in it, and you're like, I'm safe. Yeah, I'm in my. You know what I mean? Like I'm in the house. Yeah, they're outside yeah, of the yeah, house. Yeah, I'm yeah. safe. And you go, like, what? Wait, what? It's weird. You can't do that. Right. You can't do that. Yeah. That's against the law. Get off. my There's a lot porch. of. Yeah. There's a lot of. Uh, no, I don't think everything is cool. You're like, it's like your boss. You know, you said like there's a lot of story. Like we my, we uh, we went on a business trip. Is like, and they go, you tell the other. They go, wait, 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 what? <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, the, my my boss. Like, there was like they're out of hotel, so we just like slept in like the two double beds in a. And you go, wait, yeah. what? No. And dude. you kind of just like in the moment, I can see her yeah. side. Yeah. Oh, it's, he's like, ah, I'm gonna shoot you. I think, I think that's how a lot of weird situations yeah, no. start. It's is like, like you because yeah. I mean, especially when you factor oh, in like yeah. those people who are doing that type of stuff. Yeah, know what they're doing. Yeah, like, they know they're what they're skilled doing. at. Yeah, they're skilled at. Yeah, and you and you, it's like a lot of like uh, religious cults kind of definitely go in that. Where you're like, I don't know. Yeah, he just told us like kind of come over, and then he was like, he was like, I don't know. He told us kind of all sit in a circle, and it, it yeah, they don't do it. They don't do the drink the Kool Aid thing the first meeting, right? They, it, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. That, yeah, would, yeah, that yeah. would be like, uh, no. Then we got no. Absolutely but you're like, hey, not. just kind of, yeah. yeah. And you kind of see, you can see, yeah, yeah. Wild, that's so good. Wild, yeah. dude. great, great, great. That's unbelievable. That's story. a good news article. All right, all right. Let's get to some emails and then we'll wrap. Yeah, we got. Yeah, we, yeah. We get to three emails. All right, let's see yeah. what we. All got. right, we talked about how did we get on this topic? I don't even remember the punishment stuff. Do you remember? Yeah, we were talking about the umpires. Oh, the umpires. Yeah. So yeah. we were talking about how the town, if the if the parents at the Little League games yeah. are yelling at the umpires, oh, yeah. the town makes them umpire Three games. games. And then we talked about smoking a cigarette. Right. And parents and like in the early 90s get caught. You have to smoke 20 cigarettes. Right. Okay. So <laughs> I, go, I go email us if you had like a weird punishment. Yeah. That was like way over the top. Yep. And nuts. You want to read this one? Yeah, I haven't read these yet. So here All we right. go. This is, uh, are we keeping these anonymous or no? Uh, yeah, I think so. Just okay, safe. cool. All right, so hey guys, I listen to your podcast religiously every week. It's a highlight of the week for me. The tire pumps are the best thing ever and keep me laughing. Please do a whole series on them, LOL. Got it. Maybe. Uh, last week, y'all mentioned over-the-top punishments or punishments that don't fit the crime in Christian homes. Oh, yeah. Boy, do I have an example for this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I grew up a pastor's kid of a Pentecostal Assemblies of God preacher. Oh, that's that, that's the deepest. Here that's we go. That's in the deepest of the, of, or like... Don't want to appear like but, but scared of bad things. Yeah, I'm in That's now. The oh yeah, I'm I'm invested. Oh yeah. We grew up with the quote "everything's a sin" mentality. Oh yeah. Exactly. When I was 15, about to turn 16, my dad sat me down one Saturday morning and asked if I had been doing things I shouldn't be doing. What yeah. a what a thing, <laughs> yeah. dude. That's every youth pastor. Yeah. By the way, I know what y'all are doing. Yeah. You're like, I don't know what. Yeah, I, yeah. I Find know. something to yeah. tell me. Uh, of course, I had been, but that was not about to get confessed. At least not that easily. Obviously, I assured him that there was nothing. And he then told me that God had told him some things <laughs> I had been doing. How does this my childhood? <laughs> but that, I don't agree with my childhood. <laughs> but that he wanted me to be the one. He wanted me to be the one to confess it. <laughs> I, dude, this is. This is, this is oh, textbook. This is so Christian, textbook. dude. Yeah. This is textbook. Uh, I stuck to my story. Nice. Bold. Respect. Bold. Is this and a guy or a girl? It's a girl. This is a woman. Yep. Respect. Uh, and assured him. <laughs> There was nothing to confess. <laughs> then he reached under his recliner. Oh, yeah. And dude. pulled out a manila folder Ooh. that was probably about two to three inches thick. That's thick. I don't know how he even closed it. That's Inside thick. were conversations I had been having on AIM Messenger. <laughs> Apparently, our... Our computer was auto saving my conversations, and per my dad, oh, the yeah. Lord had led him to the <laughs> oh, saved yes. conversation. The dad, I'm against the dad on five counts already. This is wild. Five counts. I feel like this is the dad from Seventh Heaven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord led me to your DMs. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now I know this sounds bad, but mind you, the conversations were merely. You can just me. read, read the full words, just so we could get the. Uh, yeah, you just, I read it. Okay, but you read it. Oh, oh, oh gotcha, gotcha. Um, okay, <laughs> now I know funny. this sounds bad, but mind you, the conversations were merely me and a friend when she was over at my house telling people to meet us at a park nearby to fight. <laughs> we would hype it up telling the strangers we were going to beat their ass and cussing them out further. 
That was the full extent of it, though. We <laughs> never funny. met up with anybody to, act- not, dude. <laughs> to actually, quote, beat their ass. <laughs> we were just having some fun threatening people on a messenger. <laughs> he grounded me for one year. A year, dude. <laughs> A year. And that's not all. All right, so you can't, you have to be like 13, 14. Did you say her age? It's got to be. She's 15 going on 16. 15. All right, so you can't hit a 15-year-old. can't hit a 16. You can't spank a 16-year-old. Sure. That's a, And there's no, like, probably back in this time, it's aim, so there's no cell phones. Right. You can't take a cell phone. You, yeah, what do you do? Yeah, what can you do? Take aim away? Like, yeah. All right, so. Obviously. Grounded for one year is a the first year. point. year. The list of punishments were as follows. As if that wasn't enough. I was 15, about to turn 16. When I turned 16 and got my license, he made me drive his XL Suburban and keep a mileage log so he knew I was only going to school and home. And not to fight people in the park. <laughs> Which, by the way, that doesn't sound like much of a punishment. Yeah, that yeah, sounds not, like yeah. you got a car. XL, bro? What's up, dude? <laughs> so you yeah. got a car. That was know. the other punishment. Yep. I was also not allowed to attend youth for that year yep. and instead had to sit front row right between my parents for every church service. Which is which is, which, which, which is horrible. By the way, <laughs> hey, the fun thing you like to do in church, yeah. in, in good, you're learning, like, you're learning uh, 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 morals or how to be closer relationship with the Lord, restrict that. Right. And sit in the fr- sit making church a punishment. Right. This is all the like religious trauma is this. Church is a story. punishment and you get a car. And Those the, are the two things so far. And the fun <laughs> thing that you like to do at church, you can't do the fun thing. Right. Great. Cool. Great. My door was taken off its hinges. <laughs> That's a good one. I've heard of that one. That's in a the, wild the bedroom. One. Yeah. Which is nuts. For a year. Like you're a 16 year old Doors girl. Doors taking off the hinges is why. That's such a formative time. Yeah. Like to, yes, to be a young woman. Yeah, can, like, I get, yeah. can I have some privacy, please? Yeah. A door taking off the hinges. You're the me cherry on top was for what was that for youth group that year, which was the highlight of the year, honestly. Okay. I was not allowed to attend as a camper, but rather I worked as a lunch lady and had to serve all my friends while they enjoyed camp. It was a wild time. Still think back on it. I can't believe how aggressive the punishment was. My dad has lightened up a ton since then. Yeah, because you're an adult. Yeah. And laugh about it. And we laugh about it now. But wow, that was a tough year. Love the podcast. Keep up the last and great combo. God. Dude, this is one of my favorite emails we've ever, ever gotten. Threatening strangers on AIM too is wild. That's, well, that's hilarious. They were like a six. You had to have a fake account. Had to. And you're like, how do you find him? You're like, dude, I'm coming to the park. I'm yeah. going to fight you. What do you think the screen name was? Oh, dude, it's got to be like. Park like, Fighter 11. Yeah, it's got to be like sk- like Grind King, like Skater Boy. <laughs> it's, it's something about, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, what was that? That was, uh, there was that skate brand that had like, there was like a fireball with a face on it. it was, uh, Thrasher or nice. something like that. Yeah. It was one of those. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's incredible. Dude. All right. If I was the dad. Yeah. And I go through the aim and like my 15 year old daughter mm-hmm. is like has chat logs that go back. I would go, oh, my, uh, this is my nightmare. And you read back through it. You go, oh, I'm good. Yeah. You would think if that that if you were talking up late at night with men, yeah. the men are the ones that want to fight. Yeah. They were like, come to the park. You go. I would be celebrating this woman. Oh, you're trolling? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. We're clear. I you're never going to go to the park, though, right? No. But Okay, uh, cool. Would We're you good. ever go to the park? No. Great. Okay, have a good time at youth camp <laughs> that you love to go to. <laughs> she sounds like a good girl. Yes, dude. <laughs> she sounds like an yeah, ideal daughter. Yeah, she sounds like an ideal. Take the door off. Yeah. Is nuts. I want to know how this changed and, her course. And also, any, I would like to know any parent that would like to stick to a punishment for a year. Oh my gosh. Dude. Like my buddies like take their kids like iPads away for the weekend and they say it's a nightmare for them. Yeah. They go dude, like no no like dude. For, go to youth group. Go to go to your sport. Go go get out of the house. Yeah. You got to sit in your house with no door on your room. I get and no aim. I get the uh the military school punishment cuz yeah. it takes it off your plate. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, like send, send them to military. Get yeah, I'm send just I don't there. even want to do it. Also, at what point do you stop do you stop like let's just it's, what stuff do you print all the conversations? Printing 3 inches thick is nuts. That's a lot of yeah. sheets. And and also I would say good for her that like this is a real adult woman. 
that can laugh about this. Yes. And is not is still friends with her parents. Yes. Because that's traumatic. Uh, oh, absolutely. But I I bet her parents had what wanted what was best for her. For sure. Misguided. Just doing the very best. misguided. And she can she forgive them for that. I also respect her for uh sticking to her guns when he was like Yeah, respect. I understand that you're saying yeah. you didn't do anything, but God told me that you did. Come on. So, and she was like, I see through this. I go, oh, all right. God told you. What, what did he tell you then? Yeah. Oh, he just told you if I you did something. Know, then tell me. Go ahead, man. Why, why should I tell you? He already told just you. Just call his bluff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead, pastor. Yeah. What do you got? <laughs> How you got? You're like, I got two aces? I doubt it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, here you go. <laughs> yeah. Where's that in and the And then word? he goes, pulls it out from under the recliner. <laughs> it's like, he's like telling his wife, all right, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. I'm going to do it. Uh -huh. I'm going to do it. All right. I got it under. I got it. He's like, oh, nothing. Huh. <laughs> and I bet he's on the recliner and she's like on the footrest, like sitting there. Like sitting on the, lower, lower yeah, than him. Of course, yeah. dude. Oh, and he pops up the recliner to get it because he can't reach it. From, oh, just wait. I bet mean, it's like a that's like a, a cop. Let's say you're like a uh, um you're you're like an actual criminal, the guy on the bike. Yeah. He's like actual done real crimes. Yeah. And then the cop like pulls you over, he's like, I know what you did. And he goes, Yeah. Parked illegally. You go, oh, yeah. I thought, you see, so you don't have the crimes. Yeah. You got my aim history that I'm going to beat somebody. I'm going to fight somebody. Fight somebody. I've never even heard of that. I don't know why oh, that would dude. even be fun. What a weird troll. Now, if you would be like, I'll fight you in the park. You're like, who is this? Meet me at the park. For what? You look like trash. Like, yeah. What are you going to say to them? How do you even know I live near you? Yeah, this I, is the internet. That's a, a wild. <laughs> I'm going to fight you in the park. That's great. That's an awesome email. All right. Here's the next one. Let's go. All right. Um, when I was a kid. Yeah. My brother and I spit on each other during an argument. <laughs> great start. Dude. Of course. Your brother, kid, brother. Yep, got yep. it. Okay. This is it. also from a female. Kid, brother. Got it. Uh, I don't remember any details about the fight, who spit first or anything, but. I like the spit and the spit back. Nice. Like, oh, we can spit? No. Oh, oh, oh we're doing that. Oh, we're right. doing spit. Oh, we're oh, spit. Oh, okay. <laughs> but we both remember. Hey, I don't remember who spit first. She did. It, she did fair. That 100 is, yeah. she did. That's something you, you would have remembered. It. Yeah, you did. If you say he spit in my face first, you would yeah. remember that. Yeah, you spit first. Yeah. Okay. Continue. That's like when you tell the story, like, and one thing led to another, and it's like, no, oh, you what'd you do? You yeah. punched. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> one thing or another, we're on the ground rolling around fighting. You punched him. When we, but one thing that we both remember to this day was the punishment. Yeah. My parents course. each gave us a kid-sized plastic cup <laughs> and told us we had to fill it with spit. <laughs> Dude, what? I'm That's gonna throw great. up. That's great. I remember them watching evening TV and my brother and I sitting on the of floor. Of course, they're watching TV. Yeah. Yeah. And watching my brother and I sitting on the floor in the rooms they put us in to keep us apart. Him in the kitchen, me in the bathroom. We were both trying to fill our cups with spit. How wet, this is exactly what we were looking for. Oh, exactly. The listeners nailed it. Yes. Just nailed it. However, we weren't allowed to have a water break, and there was no way the cups could be filled. Yeah. Eventually, they just had to send us to bed saying if we did it again, we would have to trade. I'm gagging. No. We would have to trade cups and drink it. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> That's nuts, dude. I'm going to throw up, dude. Yeah, that's nuts, dude. My mom still claims that this is the most creative punishment they ever came up with. No, dude. I still gag when I think about it, retweet, and we we didn't spit on each other ever again. Obviously. Obviously. Love the podcast. Love listening every week. This room a lot. That's a good what well, Yeah. That, well, all it right. worked. It yeah. worked. And here's what the parents go, all right, we, this is nuts. We got to think of a punishment. That's like the cigarettes, smoking 10 cigarettes. Yeah. It has to be within within the, that's like saying, it has to be within the within the realm of the crime. The yes. punishment has yes. to be within the like, yeah. If you're gonna swim in the deep end during Adult Swim, all right, you gotta you gotta tread water for three hours, right? Or so, there's something which is, what? Which is crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you do you borrow? You the, swear you gotta put soap in your mouth. Like yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, 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 trademark. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's within the realm. The crime has to be within the realm of the punishment. Yeah, or the the, the punishment in the realm. It of has the crime. to be related. Yeah. So the spitting in a cup. This is all exactly. Right, it. I could see a parent going. You know what? Y'all spit it here. Boom, boom. Two solo cups. Fill them up with spit. Fill them up. <laughs> and then, and then you like, I, I don't know, I'm not a parent, but I imagine you look at the other parent and you go, and then the other parent, <laughs> the other parent has to like, the dad gets home from work and he goes, you, what? You made him do what? And they got to kind of double down. Yeah. Yeah. And then they just go, and then they go, this is obviously not thought through. The one parent's like, we have to pre present a united front. You yeah. have to be with me on he this. Goes, you have to back I'm trying, me up. but this is insane. 
I just got back from work. I was just <laughs> yeah. at work. I was just pressure washing the windows off of it because it's freaking <laughs> people. All right. Nice. That's a, that timeline wouldn't add up though because I was recently. This is a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. All right. So your saliva doesn't work like that. Or Meaning gonna, just like endless supply. It's going it. to take, you didn't realize what this, what you got into it and you go, oh, this is not. Yeah, because no one's ever done this before. Yeah, you would have we, no idea how much spit you can produce. We can't, we can't complete this. No. Yeah. It's like, I broke this couch. You need to take, you, you're like, carry it down to the dumpster. And you're like, I, no, I can't. Yeah. And you go, oh, huh. oh yeah. Because that's not a punishment. That's in, that's an emotional reaction. That's a they, job. People yeah. are movers. You can't do that. I don't do this. <laughs> they send more than one guy. I can't do this. Yeah. yeah. So then you spit, and then you go, Somebody, somebody has to wave the white flag. One of the parents, all right. It's like 930. The kids go to bed. <laughs> we can't leave them. What if one guy fills up the spit cup? Is he free to go? Right. And the other one's just like, nah, dude, I didn't do it fast What if they up. treat it like a competition? He's yeah. like, time. How big is the cup? Yeah, you're out. You're free. You get to spit on her again. Yeah, how does that work? <laughs> yeah, if you spit. So he goes, all right, we can't do this. So he comes back in, and then you got to be more angry. Yes. All right. You can't just be like, hey, I, did, I screwed up this one. Yeah. My bad. Go to bed. You got to double down. You got to double Take down. those heels in. If you, and then he goes, you can't just say, hey, kids, this is not a good punishment. I feel, or I feel like you've earned your punishment. You said we were watching the Brady Bunch and you have to sit in the bathroom and, and spit into a cup. My bad. Um, or just go to bed. Just, you know what? I'm taking the cup. Y'all just go to bed. Yeah. We'll see you at the school bus drop off in the morning. But no, he has to throw in. If you do it again, you have to drink each other. So gross, dude. Which is worse than a lazy river in Vegas, dude. Yeah, it is. Way worse. Yeah. We got one more? One more. All right. Hi, John and Alex. Love the pod and listen every week. When I'm listening to the most recent episode, when you were talking about the weird punishments for my parents, this story from my high school years came to mind. Oh, Not sure yeah. if it could really be considered a wild punishment or even a real punishment, but it's something my family still talks and laughs about to this day. The backstory here is I was raised in a pretty Christian slash conservative household. Hey, 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 we figured. Yep. We figured. Yep. We figured. This is all these yep. are that. Yeah. I really never got into trouble and I was super involved in church youth group. So in my parents' minds. So another good kid. Yeah. Another good kid. In my yeah, common thread here. Gosh, I talk about this in my live show all the time. I go in like the serious portion. I go, yeah. we thought we were bad. Yes. We were taught that we were bad. I can relate to that. Dude, hugely. I didn't kiss a girl until I was 22. Flex. That's a, like, I was like a bad yeah. kid. Cause right. I like, I like, my buddy had this Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition and we like pinned him up in his basement. Yeah. We like ripped him out and pinned him up. Dude, I did this too. Yeah. For sure. Like a kid. You got in trouble. Like for what it. a kid does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How old is he? 14. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. But you're good. Nuts. Yeah, you know the hormones running through this kid's body yeah, right now? He dude, has no idea what to do with Yeah, it. he doesn't even know where he is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like he's not on the corner with prostitutes. No. Like he's just looking he's at just swimsuit models. Out of his mind. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. So, in my parents' minds, they assumed I was mostly just listening to the popular Christian music of the time or the oh, tamer pop yeah. slash boy band type music. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, also, my dad, who is now retired, was a police officer for 35 years, Ooh. so he naturally wasn't fond of a lot of secular rap music. Okay. In particular, he knew about rappers such as Eminem. Little... Okay, all right, keep going. Keep who going. have said some not-so-great things about law enforcement. Now, as an... <laughs> Hold on, has he? Eminem? Okay, he's like anti-cop? Uh, he definitely has some lines that are... Most rap would be... Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, okay. I think it's the culture. Yeah, keep going. Um... <laughs> This isn't that. a Christian, non-Christian. This is a cop rap type angle. Yeah. But I'm, but I'm here for it. Now, as an adult, I completely get this. But as a 16-year-old who had just gotten her license and her first vehicle, yeah. all I knew was that the boy I liked was obsessed with Eminem. So in turn, I was going to be obsessed with Eminem oh, too. Oh, yeah, And baby. listen to him in my car often since I obviously wouldn't be listening to it at home. Yeah, that's like a girl going to the guy's like softball games. Like, I don't care about softball. Yeah. I just like this guy. One day, my dad had to move my car for something. Uh oh. All right. So this is back. This is back before Bluetooth era, because right, the CDs in. Oh yeah, and yeah. whatever you stopped it, uh -huh. that's where it stopped. At the volume that you stopped. At, it at. the vol. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And when he started, I remember it, these days. He was he was greeted loudly by the Eminem show album on full blast. Oh yeah. His solution to the apparent disappointment he felt was to storm into the house where we were all about to eat dinner as a family and find the mini boombox slash CD player my yeah, mom CDs. kept yeah, in yeah. the kitchen. Yeah. He proceeded to force the whole family <laughs> to listen to Eminem as loud as that CD player would go through most of dinner so that, quote, 
my mother could hear the things I was listening to. Oh, why? All this did was make for an awkward dinner that ended in my mom finally yelling at him to turn it off. Yes. Because she couldn't even understand what the music was saying anyways. <laughs> The only lesson that I learned from this was to get in the habit of turning my car to the local ra- Christian radio station before I parked it at home. Obviously. The fact that I was such a terrible kid for listening to Eminem had been an ongoing joke in the fa- has been an ongoing joke for almost 20 years. During the Super Bowl a halftime show that Eminem was a part of, we were oh, yeah. getting lots Two of texts from my dad in the group chat saying that he felt he went back in time and was listening to it in, in my car. Oh, God. But the full circle moment probably happened when Eminem was played at my wedding reception. And while I was proudly rapping along to every lyric on the dance floor, uh, I caught a glimpse of my dad watching me with his arms crossed, shaking his head and rolling his eyes, still disappointed in me for my, quote, Eminem habit. Thanks Gosh, for the laughs every week. Dude. That's fantastic. That is dude. so good. Just a family sitting at the dinner table, eating nice and quietly, but the soundtrack is the Eminem show on full blast. Dude, could you imagine that? That's no. like, you, know, you ever watch them, like your parents come in, there's like a nude scene? Yes. It's with your, you're like, ah. Yes. The Eminem show. I mean, I'll, I'll listen to it on the way home just Dude. so I can laugh. Yeah. That That's, is so good. These were the perfect emails because for this. Because they're all perfect because they're rea- parent, reactionary parent disciplines. Yes. Like grounding your daughter for a year, you don't think of, oh, we don't want to do this. Right. Making them spit in the cup. They go, oh, we don't want to. You're so, and again, I'm not a parent. A parent could probably speak to this. They're so angry yeah. in the moment. And you discover that your kid is not who you thought your kid was. Yeah. Right? Coming down for church on Sunday morning, listening to Christian music. It's up in the room studying, doing their homework. Yep. You think that's what your kid is. You learn your kid is not that. And you lose it. Yeah. Gosh, dude. Dude, Emotions, play the Eminem man. show <laughs> in for, is crazy. I, I like that one. But I like that one and the spit one because it is like it's exactly what you were doing, oh, and yeah. we're just gonna go max it out. Oh yeah, max yeah, it out. Yeah. Just go all the way with we're it. Do, yeah, that's what it. you want to do. Like it would right. be like if the the AIM one with the challenging people to fights. Yeah. If they were like, you got to now challenge a hundred people a night to yeah. fight, or you got to fight them. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fight <laughs> yeah, just send her. To you're the, going to the park. All right, <laughs> send her to the park. Yeah. And go, all right, you said you're going to meet up with it. And they're like, right. and then like rescue. Like, mm-hmm. She goes, no, 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 please. I don't want to go. And you're, like, right. you're driving out to the park. The guy's there. Right. And then you go, you see? Yep. I would never do it again. No. I would never do it again. Nope. That's nuts. That's fantastic. And she did. Obviously, she still listened to Eminem. And she said, the yeah. only thing I learned was what? Just switch it. Yeah. Because I had the, the radio CD player. And then you had, you had the presets. Yep. We had the presets. And I had like 12 presets. And the last one was the Christian station. Nice. So I could go, so I knew where it was. The last one on the second set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Because I got, dude, 91.5, baby. There you go. Yeah, and there was one one of 4.7 later. Nice. Yeah. Switch it to that. Yeah. Because we were parked, it it was kind of, it it wasn't my car. Right. It was like, the my brother could also drive family and, car type thing. Yeah, yeah, I could. I had to ask to use it. We it was mostly way. mine. Right. I went to took it to school, but my dad, if he needed to pick something up, that would fit in that car. My mom was. It, 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 it's his. Yeah. You leave the keys in it, mm-hmm. so there wasn't. Yeah, so good. That's dude. awesome, man. God, those are great. What a great. If you have some more, send them in. Yeah, yeah. please. Uh, we're back. We're off for like uh, or do we got two shows this month? You're chilling for a couple of weeks, right? Yeah, Goshen, nice. Indiana, Elkhart County Fair, baby. The twenty first of uh twenty first twenty first yeah of Barcelona uh, July. Let's go. It's a callback, and then twenty eighth we're going to Hattiesburg, Mississippi. That show is sold out. Nice. Um, let me just list September, uh, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, and seventeenth. We're going to uh, what is that? What area of the country is that? Midwest. Midwest. Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Wichita, Springfield. And then we're going to Canada, baby. Mm. Ottawa, Peterborough, London, Ontario. All in Ontario. I That's like saying we're going to the United States, right? Dude, Ontario is, I think, one of them. Yeah. That's one of the parts. Yeah. One of the provinces. Then we're coming back, baby. Myrtle Beach, Roanoke, Virginia, Greensboro, North Carolina. And then we go into the South, baby. Atlanta, Georgia, Birmingham, Alabama. And then Cedar Rapids, Springfield, Illinois, and Evansville, Indiana. Come out, see us on tour. We got I got a lot of stuff I'm gonna update you guys on uh next week. Cool. Net positive, baby. Let's go. I mean, yeah, sure, it was a little weird, but on the net, net on the on the it, it, it was a positive. But it was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. But on the net, it's a positive. <laughs>